Hey everybody! Sorry it's taking me so long. I am still getting set up. I woke up too late today. But I'm almost done setting up. How do I sound? How's the sound going? Is the music too loud? It seems like it's too loud. I'm gonna turn it down just slightly. Let me know how I sound though, and I'll be going in just a sec. Um, I'm getting the giveaway uh, set up still. I totally forgot until like last minute. <laughs> Quick poll, uh, just posted it. Uh, what kind of strawberry do you want me to make today? We can either do a regular one or a chocolate covered one. You can see them both on screen now. Um, yeah, you choose. You choose. Which kind of strawberry do you want me to make? We're going to also be doing a few other choices today. I think we can do like a hat um, and maybe I can get your opinion on how to do the face. We can, we can figure out some different kinds of faces. But um, first off, what kind of strawberry should we make? Alrighty, let's get rocking and rolling. Um, which one is it? I always forget which one it is. It's this one. Hey everybody! Welcome to the live stream! Sorry I ran a little late today. Uh, there was a lot of setup to do and I totally forgot about the giveaway until last second, but we'll get to the giveaway in just a second. Hello, if you're watching today, we're gonna be crocheting a giant strawberry. You can see right there, you saw it in the camera before this. 
There's the pattern right there. If you want to crochet this along with me, you're going to need the following materials. The first thing you're going to need is your yarn. I'm using all cotton, worsted weight yarn, 100% cotton. You know, that's what I like doing, especially for these strawberries, because it doesn't make them all fuzzy and stuff. Um, hello to the chat. <laughs> hello, Nizuko. Uh, konnichiwa, I should say. Um, so I'm going to be using all worsted weight cotton yarn for this pattern. Uh, you are deciding right now if you want me to make a chocolate covered or a regular strawberry today. But if you're going to be making your strawberry, you're going to need the following colors. Um, obviously, you're going to need your main color. That's going to be red. That's going to be the color of the strawberry itself. You'll need uh, a secondary color if you're going to make chocolate. You're going to make. You're going to need some chocolate covered yarn. Chocolate colored yarn. Chocolate covered yarn. Ew. Um, <laughs> you'll need green for the stem. You'll need some black yarn. That's going to be for the face. And then yellow yarn. That's going to be for all of the seeds and stuff. Um, because I'm using all worsted weight yarn, I'll be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. That's what I usually like using for this uh, yarn. You'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. A pair of scissors, of course. And then uh, a bunch of stuffing. You need like a decent amount of stuffing. And then you need some safety eyes. I'm using size 10 millimeter safety eyes for this pattern. If you want to get a pattern or a kit with all the materials you need, there's links in the description for that. Uh, and uh, oh, and you're going to need the pattern. Of course, you're going to need the pattern. Well, the pattern is totally for free, 100% free, right here, clubcrochet.com slash berry. And the pattern's actually from a different Amy Groomy artist. I did not make this pattern. Um, the Amigurumi artist, Drooby Zoo, who is in the chat right now. Hello, Droobies. He's in the chat. Um, I guess I have so much chocolate covered yarn, too. <laughs> uh, Drooby's in the chat right now. He is the designer of this pattern. Uh, I just helped produce it, make it into a video uh, and the PDF and stuff like that. But he is the real artist here. So give him some love. Say hello. There is links in the description uh, for all of his stuff. He's really good on TikTok. That's his that's his big place. Uh, and he's very funny and he's very cool. Um, and a very talented Amigurumi artist. Uh, we're going to be seeing some more stuff from him later on in this year too. Hopefully even more. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, but thank you for joining, Droopy. That's cool. Uh, I wish we did a collaboration pattern. We should, or a collaboration live stream. That would have been pretty, pretty cool. Um, I just realized, should I turn up the brightness of this camera? Does it look a little dark to you guys? Let me know. It feels like it looks dark, but it might just be my computer's dark. Yeah, I don't know. Um, okay, so that's what you need to get crocheting today. Uh, all the links are in the description. I'm still waiting for you guys to choose between regular and chocolate covered. But while I'm doing that, how you can help support this channel if you would like to. Um, so if you like this channel, if you like these live streams, you like these patterns that are coming out, uh, there are a few ways you could help support this channel so that it keeps surviving and going. Uh, and the few ways you can do that are uh, way number one. You can uh, like and subscribe down below. It's the cheapest, freest way that you can do it. Just like this video down below, subscribe to the channel. If this video gets 350 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream, which is gonna be next week. I forget what we're making. I have it on my calendar, but I can't remember. Hopefully I'll remember somewhere in this video. Uh, so that is the freest, cheapest way. The bestest way is to become a Club Crochet member. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of tutorials. There's like a hundred, there's like 200 and something now. Uh, we add one or two every month. This month we added two to the library. And uh, you can even get kits mailed to your door with all the materials that you need to make whatever you want to make that month. Uh, next month we're going to be making this reversible frog. Boop. Turns into angry frog. Boop. Turns into happy frog. Uh, it's going to have some other little tricks to it that are not in this one, uh, including a little butt. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be next month's kit. It's with 100% wool, uh, simply because I didn't really want to use acrylic yarn because we've talked about it before. I'm not really a huge fan of using acrylic, uh, but you need it to be somewhat flexible, so I couldn't use cotton for it. So we're using this really high quality wool, um, which I'm really excited for. Uh, that is going to be next month's crochet kit. You can sign up for a pro membership now. Memberships start at only $5 a month. You even get discounts in the shop, which is another great way to help support this channel. If you want to purchase kits, stickers, pins, look at this. Look at this cute little burb pin. It's so cute. And you can get it. 
in the merch shop. Um, there's even kits for this pattern that we're making right now. There are kits in the description uh, for this this kit or this pattern. Uh, stickers, all that stuff. So let's move all this away. Those are the ways you can help support this channel. I would super appreciate it. Oh, and then there's one other way you can support with a tip. If you want to tip me and say, oh my gosh, you're so good at this. Wow, you deserve money. <laughs> You can tip the channel as well. I'll put something out on the video permanently so that everyone knows that you are a super supportive person. And if it doesn't have a name, you get to name it. Uh, sometimes they do have names, sometimes they don't. Usually they don't or, or I've forgotten the name. Uh, but that is another way you can help support this channel. Uh, weird new name giveaway in this live stream. All you got to do to win the giveaway is guess what's in this box. That's it. These are my favorite ones to do. So there is a link in the description of this video. I'll be putting a link in the uh, in the chat right now. Oopsies. I almost I almost I almost posted a hint. Hold on. Let me make sure. Let me get this right. There we go. Boom. Okay. Link is in the chat right now. All you have to do is go to that link and guess what is in this box. The first person to get it right wins a $20 gift card to the Club Crochet store, which is enough to get mostly all of the kits that are available. Uh, and then if you get it right, but you're not first, you still win a gift card to the Club Crochet store, but just for less money, obviously. So all you need to do is, uh, is guess what's in this box. Now, throughout this live stream, I'll be giving hints to what is in this box. It is right off the bat. Here's your number one hint. It is a pattern from the Club Crochet Library. So it is a pattern that is currently in the library right now. Uh, and yeah, that that is, that's the that. So I'm gonna leave this right here. We're gonna continue giving hints throughout it. I'm gonna move this frog because we got our first tip, I think. Yeah, wait, did we? Yes, we got Tina. Tina, thank you so much. Someone said Cooper tipped, but did they? I didn't see it. I think I totally missed it. I think that I, I, if you're talking about this, I think that's from last week, but I'm not sure. Cooper, are you in the chat? Did you tip? And I totally missed it. Anyhow, Tina definitely tipped. And Tina, uh, we're gonna put something out for you. You can't open the link. Uh oh. Hold on. Let me fix. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. I realized what I did wrong. Hold on. Um, is this the right one? Yes. Send. Um, link. Copy. Why isn't it working? Responses. Ah, because it says not accepting responses. Okay. Try again. Try again. I think I fixed it. I hope I fixed it. Oh, thank you, Cooper, for being honest with me. I appreciate you so much. Also, I just appreciate you in general. You're awesome. Uh, okay, now it should be working. Check out the form again. See if you can enter to win. Uh, and let's put out something for Miss Tina. Let's see, Tina. Tina, Tina, Tina. Tina, Tina, Bobina, Fofi, Fi, Fofina. Tina, Tina, Bobina. Tina. I'll put out. How about... I think we might have named this during a live stream once upon a time uh, when we made this pattern. But uh, you get to name it again, Tina. And this is going to be a strange one to have out for a strawberry crochet along, but I'm fine with that. Uh, a little tiny zombie. Zombini. Zom zombini? I don't know. It's a chica zombie missing her poor little eye, but that's okay. Tina, what would you like to name your zombie? I know that's a funny one to have in there, but it's just she hasn't gotten a lot of love for a while. Also, she's a finger puppet, so she needs some love. Tina, name your zombie. She's going to be right here for you. And I know. I know it's a weird one to have out, but you know what? We're a little weird here. Also, we have Jimbo in uh, the room. He's right over there, and you will probably hear him eventually when he wakes up from his nap. All right, let's stop this poll and see what won. Do, 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 do. Aha! Regular strawberry one. Great. 
Great. I don't have enough regular strawberries. I only have, ch I have like four chocolate stra strawberries, but I only have two regular ones. Um, all right, perfect. Let's make a regular strawberry. I like that idea. Cheryl Green. Hello, Lewis. How are you? I am doing well. And calling me Lewis. Wow. I love it. Um, <laughs> that is my name. My name is Lewis, but I usually go by Louie. But uh, some people do still call me Lewis, just like you, Cheryl. And I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How are you doing today, Cheryl? All right. So, how do you do the giveaway? Asks Olivia. There's a link in the in the description, and I posted it in the chat a little bit ago. All you have to do is go to that and guess what is in this box. If you're the first one, um, if you're the first one to get it right, you win a big gift card. If you are not the first one to give it, get it right, but you still get it right, you'll win um, some money to the Club Crochet store. And then I will consistently be giving hints throughout this video for what is in that box. Okay, so we need we need some red yarn. Look at how perfect, look at this. Isn't this a good, look at that cake of yarn. I made this just for this video. Isn't it beautiful? Gosh, I love it. Okay, uh, where, what time, what hour is it where I live, asks Alex. I'm in San Francisco, California, uh, and it is 1 p.m. here. Well, 1.19, wow, we're, we're taking our time getting started here. Let's just get rock and rolling then. Um, okay. Ba, 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 ba. I need to make sure that this is still working. If anything becomes a little fuzzy, a little weird, uh, let me know in the chat. Uh, my internet's been acting up the past few weeks, so things have been happening. Okay, so this strawberry, we're, I think I'm gonna just do, so we're obviously doing a regular strawberry, but I also think we're gonna do a, um, add some additions to it. I'm thinking like maybe a hat or something like that. Uh, something like that, yeah. Alina, Elena says, Ugh, I wish I could donate. I'm a pro member, but I still wish I could donate. Alina? Elena? Elena. Why Alina? I don't know why I said that. But uh, your pro membership is more than enough support. Thank you so, so much for being a Club Crochet pro member. I really hope you like the kits. Um, obviously, I put a lot of work into each one, so <laughs> I really hope you like them. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four, five and six. Now, in this video, I am not going through how to actually crochet this pattern. That's because I just came out with a how to crochet this pattern video. And you can find that in the description or on in the pattern that you can find right there, clubcrochet.com slash berry. So I'm not going through the actual tutorial. I'm just crocheting it with you guys. Uh, it's a relatively simple pattern too. Definitely beginner friendly. Um, I guess it's not like that simple, but I tried to go really, really slowly in the, um, in the tutorial to help you out. Uh, yeah, Drewby does throw in some extra little, uh, bits and pieces to make it a little bit more tricky, but I think it's a wonderful, wonderful pattern. I really think you guys should check it out. Happy birthday to Leaf Sauce. Happy birthday, Leaf Sauce. Thank you so much. Oh, Coffee and Crochet, thank you. Thank you for posting links. Um, Coffee and Crochet is our admin today. She'll be posting links in the chat and uh, she's a wonderful human being. You guys should all, uh, should all say hello and thank her. Uh, she has her own YouTube channel where she does live crochet longs too. You should go check that out. All you have to do is click her username to find it. Okay, so I've already finished round two, guys. Speed up, catch up with me, gosh. No, no, I'm going to be taking my time, especially when it comes to the um, adding the details and stuff. That part takes significantly longer. So the faster I go, the more things we get to add to the strawberry, like hats and stuff. Loving Life, I've got a question. What's your question, Loving Life? Let us know. I'm here to help out. Yeah, if you have any questions, like crochet questions... Feel free to ask that in the chat as well. Yes, I know it's really early for you, Coffee and Crochet. Um, she is out in uh, Korea, so it is very early. 
Oh, and Sarah Louise is also here. Hello, Sarah. We got a double, a double dose of moderators here. Don't do anything silly or else they're going to get you. <laughs> Thank you for joining, Sarah. Thank you to both Sarah and Coffin Crochet. Can I Rick roll you? Asks Loving Life. I don't even know how I would do that. Hold on. You know, I'm never gonna give you up. I'll, I'll, I'll never let you down. Um, okay, so I am on, man, I'm flying, guys. I'm already on round four. What are you, what are you doing? You sleeping? Jeez. Vanja. That is the zombie girl's name. It is Vanja. Thank you for uh, naming your zombie, Tina. Also, if you become a Club Crochet member in this live stream, I should get a... You know, I haven't been getting emails about new memberships, but I should be. So let me look. I think I messed up something on here. No, no, not that one. Oh, yeah, okay. If you become a Club Crochet member, I will put something out for you as well. In fact... Zareen, I don't think you're in the chat. I think this is you, Zareen. You go by Nala? Yes. Oh, no, no. It's just Zareen. I think I did that right. Oh, no, no, no. It's Staben. Okay, well, hopefully it updates here. I guess this hasn't been updating, really. I might need to fix that. But someone did become a Club Crochet member, and uh, I just want to say thank you. So let's put out things for Club Crochet members, too, because that is also a great way to support this channel. Let's go with this little octopus for you. This is for... Stiben. Stiben. Stibine. Um, hopefully it updates on the screen. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. That's not a problem. Not a question, but what is my favorite name that you've named one of your creations? Well, that is a question, but I... Oh, not a crochet question. I guess it kind of is a crochet question. Act well, actually. Um, <laughs> Domination, thank you for subscribing. Uh, so what is my favorite name that I've named one of my creations? Probably, let's see... I really like, I have a goblin named Shank that I am a big fan of. He is uh, Shank, a goblin assassin. I actually have a poem that's just for him. It goes, this is Shank, the goblin assassin. He'll pocket your pick without even asking. He'll then try to pawn it to his old friend Crash, who won't accept picks because Crash, or because Shank owes him cash. Uh, he'll Shank will sneak into a castle to see what's to take and leave that pick there to frame you and make for a break that was a tough one to do but that is shank's um uh little poem and one of my favorite names that i've done so far uh but i got a few good ones i got zazig i really like zazig he is a um an ogre that i'm a big fan of Domination, can I do Animal Crossing Crochet? Psh, we're way ahead of you, dude. We got a bunch of Animal Crossing Crochet. We got Gulliver. Check that out. Look at how prepped I am. I love this desk. My dad made me the standing desk thing because my back's been hurting really bad. Um, and uh, now I have like quick access to all my crochet stuff. But I got a bunch of little crochet things that are Animal Crossing themed, like Mr. Gulliver. There's, well, I can't find it, but there there are bell bags and um, uh, like flying present patterns. Uh, we should do more, though. We totally should do more. But good question. Have I ever made a Digimon character? No, I haven't. Honestly, I never really was a huge fan of Digimon. I always saw them when I was a kid. I was like, Pokemon 5 ever. Never going to play Digimon. But then I did play a little bit of Digimon. But not like it did Pokemon. Gosh, I love Pokemon. A mini KK slider. Yeah, we totally should do a mini KK slider. I'm gonna, I should reach out to Sir Pearl and see if he's interested in doing that. 
Okay. So, we are, boop, and boop. We're halfway through round, um, round five now. And when I get to the, when I get to round seven, I'll give you guys, uh, the first hint for, for the giveaway. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Chief Snoobles. I appreciate that. That is, it's actually, again, not an amigurumi pattern by me. That is by an artist called Sir Pearl Gray. He's the one that made Gulliver, and he's a very talented amigurumi artist. Um, he actually made a tiger for the new, for the year of the tiger, Sonny. So uh, he's got a pretty good one. It's actually the Animal Crossing tiger, like the one in, um, the one that you can actually like get and put down. It's got like a big open mouth, I guess. <laughs> Jim! Hello, Jim! How are you? I hope you're having a good day. I hope your crocheting is going well. I think that this is supposed to be an increase. Aha! So it is. I almost messed up, guys. I almost messed it up, but I didn't. Um, I'm gonna get just a little bitty spare yarn just so I can keep track of where the end is all the way down here. Um... What did Jim ask? Jim asked if you can show him how to do an increase when you can. He won't let me teach him. Well, that's because you're not a pro teacher like me. So. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm sure you could teach him very, very well, Rebecca. But if he's not listening to you, I would be happy to help. Jim, let me get to my first increase in this next round in just a second. Increases are really easy though. It's basically just two single crochets in the same spot. So as long as you know how to do a single crochet, you probably know how to do an increase. So I'm just doing this for this round here just so I can keep track of that end. Uh, and then I'll get to my first increase here. And Loving Life has another question that isn't Rickroll related. Maybe, we'll see. Sydney, first live stream, hello Sydney. Okay, Jim, we're coming to our first increase in just just a second. I'm in round uh, six, by the way, if you're crocheting along with me. And, oh, we did get a new member. Okay, I will fix that in a second. Oh, look, Stibin, it did update with Stibin. See, I wasn't lying. Um, okay, Jim, before I get to this new member and put out something for them, I'm on my increase in this round and I'm gonna do a, a quick zoom in here so I can show you whoop, whoop, whoop. okay an increase in crochet just means that you're putting two single crochets into the same stitch so this was the last stitch that we did you can see it kind of opened up right there the next stitch sorry about my gross little hands my, <laughs> my next stitch is right here Right there, because you know we're working under both loops of the next stitch. We want to put two single crochets into that exact same spot. So we go into this spot, we do a single crochet, like that, and then we're just going to do another one into the same stitch. So normally I'd go into the next stitch right here, but into the same stitch is going to be just the one that you just worked into. And you can actually follow the V at the bottom of your single crochet right here. That's going to point directly into where you want to put that crochet hook like that yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two do another single crochet in the same stitch for another increase i'm actually going to redo that one because this loop was a little looser than i would like it to be there we go and then another thing i'm going to show you free of charge mr jim is i'm going to show you the difference in your pattern between a single crochet and an increase. I talk about this a lot in this video tutorial actually. So if you are, if you watch this video tutorial, I really talk about the difference between looking at an increase and a single crochet because it's really useful for crocheting without using a stitch marker. If you look through right here, this right here is just a regular single crochet. There's just one V in one spot. But if you go right under it right here, there's two Vs in one spot, which means that that is an increase. So that's how you can tell the difference between a single crochet and an increase. And if you crochet a lot, you'll get really good at noticing that difference. And then you won't need to uh, to look at any of where the stitch marker is for the pattern because you can just see where the last increase is and you can just, uh, yeah, you can crochet without using a stitch marker that way. 
Uh, at least that's how I do it. But I did add a stitch marker here to make it a little bit easier so I don't have to, uh, I don't gotta do the thinky thinks too much. Okay, now something out for a new Club Crochet member, V. They just go by V, and that's great. Easy to remember. So V, we're gonna put out something for you. If you're in the chat, say hello. If you're not, then, well, you can't hear me anyhow, so move. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put out this adorable Pokemon for you. Um, he's in the new Legends of Arceus Pokemon game, which if you haven't played it yet, go check it out. But this is, it's just a tiny little Rowlet. Isn't it cute? Oh my God, it's, this is the new Pokemon. Um, I made this a long time ago, like years ago, when the new game came out with this Pokemon as a starter. Um, but I'm gonna put this out for you. We're gonna use this pin to help keep it onto the head of this guy right here. There we go. And that's gonna be out for V, the new Club Crochet member. Alex, when does this live stream end? This live stream will end when I am done with my strawberry. So probably, it'll probably take about two to three hours. So we're at 30 minutes in. So I would say it'll probably be done at like four, probably like four-ish will be done. I know, right? That relic's really cute. I actually don't have a pattern for it, um, but it's, it's really tiny. I think there's only like 30 stitches in that whole pattern. I could, I, I should could write it up. Okay, last increase right there. And that would be round six. I should keep track of my progress. I'm going to do that. So I uh, am using the PDF pattern on the right side here of my, like on the left I see the chat and on the right I see my PDF pattern. And what's really nice is my PDF patterns have check marks so you can keep track of where you're at in the pattern. So uh, it's really useful for keeping track of your progress. So you should become a cool Christian member, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Re 101 asks, when do the frog patterns come out? The frog patterns are going to be coming out um, in March, so next month. Uh, and it's not just going to be frogs. It's going to be a bunch of different bonimals. They're going to take over the channel for a while, I think. And if you don't know what uh, what she's talking about with a frog, like, what's a frog? Uh, hold tight. Next person that tips or becomes a Club Crochet member, I will show you. I will show you myself. Okay. What's an FNAF? FNAF. I don't know what that means. All right, so we're on round seven. So after this round, I'll give you the hint, the first of five hints. I actually came up with five hints this time. How do I keep track of how much yarn I use? I have a um, yarn counter. It's like this little thing that'll that I can pull yarn through and it counts how many feet it's gonna be and so I usually make a um, like a ball of like however much I think a pattern is gonna take so like uh, usually it'll be like around a hundred feet and then I crochet something and then I measure whatever is left over and I subtract that from the starting amount and that's how I keep track okay so, FNAF is a, oh, Friday nights at Freddy's. Got it, got it. I've never played that, but I do know very much about it. I'm surprised people are still playing Friday nights at Friday night at Freddy's. Isn't that like game like 10 years old now? I guess so is Minecraft to be fair. Rebecca, thank you for your support. I will put something out for you, Rebecca. Oh, we just finished round seven too. So I got to do the, the first hint, but before I do that first hint for Rebecca. Here, let's put this out. This is a super duper rough draft of something that I made a few nights ago, just because I was wondering if I could, um, I was wondering if I could do it. So 
This pattern is definitely not out yet. In fact, this is just a super rough draft. So if you don't like it, well, get over it. It's not done yet. It is a little itty bitty turtle. Look at that. It's a no sew turtle. It's made in just like like 40, 30 or 40 stitches total. Little turtle. And this is for you, Rebecca. Thank you for your support. I'll put it right here. The littlest turtle. You can name it, Rebecca, if you have an idea for a name. Um, can I drop a link of where you got that? The the yarn counter. The yarn counter, I think I got it on uh eBay. Um, I think they also have them on Amazon. Just look up yarn counter. It's they're like everywhere. Uh okay, sorry, hint, hint. You need a hint. So, here's your first hint on what is in that box. Hold on, I got it set up already. Boom! Except for I need to move over the white block because it's taken over the whole screen there. Hint number one. The number of stitches used in the pattern that is in this, the pattern that I used to make what is in this, the number of stitches is 216 stitches, which is obviously a very, it's a very small amount of stitches. So there is your first hint 216 stitches, go guess what it is in the, let me put it in the chat again. Guess what in the box. Ba -ba. Boom. There you go. So go check out the link in the chat and guess what's in that box. Uh, 200 and what I say 216 216 stitches whoo okay and Cooper I saw that donation don't act like I didn't I saw it thank you so much Cooper 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 is a trooper I gotta tell you Cooper you're a trooper um do we want to put this one out I do like this fella. I like him a lot. Okay, Cooper, because you are such an avid donator, I'm gonna grab something from the other room that's a very special thing to put out for you. Um, it is a woggle, which technically I did not crochet. So let me go grab that for you. Uh, Elena, I am on round, uh, I'm on round eight. I'm on round eight. Okay, I'll be literally two seconds. One, two, two, again, three, back to two. Okay. Wee! I jumped in. I jumped right in. Two! Back to two! Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is for you, Cooper. A very special one. Uh, I don't think I've ever had him out here. He's in my living room uh, with the rest of the Woggles. This is the very first Woggle that was ever hatched here. Uh, if you don't know what Woggles are, they're a species of alien that look like they're crocheted simply because whatever they hatch near, they, they try to replicate it so that they don't get caught. So they could be made out of stone or they could be whatever. But uh, this is a, I have a whole video series on it on my other channel, Louis Loops. But this is Friar. Uh, I named him Friar because he looks like he's got like a bald head like a Friar. Uh, and he was the first of the Woggles that were hatched on Earth, at least as far as I know. So I'm going to put Friar out right here. He, he shouldn't move, but normally Woggles do move if no one is looking at them. Um, if they're not being observed by anything, they, they'll move. So, I don't think he'll move, but he might. We'll see. And you absolutely rob. Oh, oh, this is a donation from Cooper and Gecko, his partner. Gecko, thank you so much. Cooper, you're great. But Gecko, <laughs> thank you so much. I keep sending you guys gifts on Pikmin Go, but no one ever answers, so... Just saying, just saying. Um, 
Druby is obsessed with the Woggles. You should be. They're wonderful. Wonderful, beautiful creatures. Um, how can people access the Spanish version of this pattern? That is... I see you. I see you, Aprande. Okay, so Aprande actually helped um, uh, create the Spanish tutorial for this pattern. I should have mentioned that earlier. Uh, this pattern does have uh, a Spanish PDF also. And both the uh, Spanish PDF and regular PDF are accessible. You do need a membership account to access the PDFs, but there is a Spanish language PDF for this pattern also. Um, and all you have to do is become a Club Crochet member, and then when you're on the pattern, it says download this pattern, and you get to choose between English and Spanish. Uh, we're trying to add Spanish tutorials for all of the patterns on the website. Obviously, there's over 200 now, so like it's taking a while um, to get Spanish translations for every single one of them. We've got a pretty good amount so far, but I uh, haven't really been talking about it much because I want to have a little bit more uh, Spanish tutorials on the website before I go and say like, we got Spanish tutorials, you know what I mean? Um, but there are Spanish language tutorials on the website made by Aprende Flowers. Did I say that right? Aprende, Aprende con Flowers. I think I said it right. Oh, Mr. Lucas asks the most important question that there is. Mr. Lucas says, okay, question. Can I, as someone who has never done this before, learn this? Because this looks truly amazing. Guess what? Yes, 150%. You absolutely can. Um, the tutorial for this pattern is super beginner friendly. So it's a great, this is a super good pattern to start with. Um, you can check it out. Obviously the link is right here. It's great for beginners. And then if you are having trouble, there is a, uh, a full beginner crochet series that I made called crocheting 101. You can find it at just crocheting 101.com. And, uh, that is a, another really great resource. It's like a, it's like 12 videos long. It's like a big series and it comes with a free PDF and a bunch of projects that you make in between patterns. So you, as you are slowly progressing in your stitches, you learn a new stitch and you get to make something new to put that new stitch into practice. So it's really good. I highly suggest you check that out. But even before that, give this pattern a shot. Just try this pattern. You might not even need Crocheting 101. You probably could do it right there. And Coffee Crochet just posted a link to the pattern right there, the, vi the video tutorial for it. There is a written pattern too, but you probably want to start with a video tutorial before you start with written patterns because they're different. This just can be a little bit more tricky. Okay, I should count my stitches now because I am on round, I'm on round 10 of the pattern. So if you're crocheting along with me, I'm currently on round 10. Okay, so one, two, four, and then I increase five and six. This stream was randomly recommended. Whoa, dope. That's really cool. Hey, if you are in this, uh, if you're in this video and YouTube recommended it to you, uh, shout out right now. Just say, hey, YouTube recommended this to me also, because that is super cool. And if that is the case, uh, you totally should subscribe to the channel. It's a really good channel to subscribe to. We do live crochet alongs like this every single week. You don't have to crochet, though. You can make whatever you want. You could do your homework. You could craft. Uh, just come hang out on a, on a Sunday and crochet with us or make whatever you want. Uh, obviously, I come out with a lot of video tutorials. Uh, that is the main point of this channel is teaching how to crochet. But... It's also great just to subscribe to and be friends with me. So you should do that. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> all right. Let me see. All right. We're good. We good. We good. <laughs> Alex. Bye. Thank you for joining. Three, four. And then an increase.
Oh my gosh, Luca, it knew. It was like, YouTube was like, why'd you put your crochet away? Pull it back out. It's time to crochet, baby. You know how YouTube talks. They go, it's time to crochet, baby. Have I ever made a Dark Souls crochet? No, I've actually never played Dark Souls, which is kind of surprising because Dark Souls definitely seems like a game I'd really, really like. Um, I really like brutally difficult games. Uh, it's like kind of a thing. Um, like, I really like Hollow Knight a lot. And that game is brutal. And it's very Dark Souls-like. So I'm surprised I, I haven't played Dark Souls yet. I'm going to get to the end of this first part of the strawberry before I do another hint um, for the giveaway. But if you haven't yet, go into that giveaway. Links are in the description. Um, the earlier you are, the higher of a chance you have to win $20. Although if you want to wait to the very end, you'll have like a very small window where it'll be pretty easy to guess what it is, but you won't win. You'll, you'll only win a little bit. Um, to enter the giveaway, there is a form in the description of this video that you need to click. Uh, it's surrounded by star emojis, so just click that form and guess there. Whatever's in this box. Hit subscribe, hit subscribe. Also hit like. If this video gets 350 likes, I upped it. Because last month, last week it was 300 likes and it got like over 500 which is insane. So this one, I upped it to 350 likes. So if this video gets 350 likes, I'll do another giveaway next live stream. We are on a roll right now. I think we've done... Uh-oh, did I miss one? No, I didn't. Um, we are... I think this is our fourth or fifth giveaway in a row on a live stream. So it's been going... Like, we've been doing a lot of giveaways. So I might need to up it even more if we hit it again because you guys are crazy. <laughs> I actually have, uh, well, I never mind. I won't say anything. I won't say anything. Those who know what I was about to say, know about it. Those who don't, don't know about it. Actually, you know what? I can say it. I can say it. There's a secret giveaway happening that you may or may not know about. And I'm not going to tell you where it is or how to enter it or anything because that's the point of a secret, Lewis. Some cheese. But there's a secret giveaway happening. Okay, so we're on... I'm on round 10, if you're crocheting with me. Make something like a video game console? VR? That would... Uh, yeah, I could do that with one two three four five and then this is the increase I want to make an actual video game a crocheted video game a Stop-motion crocheted video game specifically. That's what I'd really like to do one two three four Five and I've started on a few different ones, but I don't know how to make video games like I don't know how to use unity I don't know how to um, Save files correctly. I don't know any of that and honestly, I don't have the time or effort to do that uh, if you know how to make a video game or you know someone that does know how to make video games, reach out to me at louis at clubcrochet.com because I am looking for help uh, to turn some of my games, my board games, into video games, uh, especially like Lava Run and um, Stitched. They would make really good video games. Uh, and I've got a bunch of assets just for a video game. I just need someone that is interested in slash knows how to make video games. That's the real goal. So if anybody knows how, reach out. Louis at clubcrochet.com. I'm looking for help. A crochet simulator? <laughs> That'd be stupid. <laughs> That'd be really funny, though. All right. Where are we at? Where, where am I? One, two, three, five, and then there, and then our increase. Have you watched Avatar? Oh, Nezuko, have you watched Avatar? That's a good question. Ava the Last Airbender, I'm assuming you're talking about Kelly, because that's the best show ever. I love it. Yep, yep, it's the best. 
Um, Nezuko, konnichiwa! I've learned some more Japanese since our last live stream. Obviously, I do. I, I practice every single day. And I'm getting better and better. The last thing I learned was... Um, the last thing that I learned that I, I definitely remember is... Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Which means, how long will it take or how long will it be? Which I felt was going to be a useful one to know in an airport. Dore kurai kakarimasu ka? Um, okay. We're good, we're good. I think we're on... Okay, we're just, we're doing, we're on round 13. Yes, dude, Avatar's the best. If you could be any bender, if you, if you were a, if you were an, a bender, oh my gosh, it's the qu quenchiest. <laughs> it's the quenchiest. Wow, you do love Avatar. No question there. Mickey Cricky, what's that fuzzy red thing in the background? That is a woggle. You know all about woggles, I'm sure, Mickey. But uh, if for those who don't know, woggles are an alien species that crash landed on Earth. I'm assuming from a different planet or an asteroid or something. I'm not really totally sure. It's It was an egg when it landed. And then when I brought it home, I didn't know. I thought it was just a rock because it was heavy like a rock. And then a few days passed and it hatched uh, and I couldn't find it and it turned out I couldn't find it because it looked like one of my crocheted things and it was walking around my apartment and it and it was perfectly matched to the carpet and the hardwood which is this color and this color and then it looked crocheted so it was very well camouflaged in so I didn't notice it also it doesn't move if it's being observed so it's hard to know when they're moving it's hard to know when they're alive and then another egg was was laid which hatched into a different woggle named Ertl, which i think is in the other room i actually think Ertl, my friend has Ertl, maybe i'm not sure uh but a bunch of them hatched i have like like 50 of them in the other room and they all look different but they all look crocheted but they're not crocheted Oh yeah, okay. So Drewby Zoo says they they'd be a water bender all the way. So would Jules. So Jules would be super into water water bending. My cabbages. Um, I my watermelon. Uh, I am. I think I would be a. Yes, they do. They steal socks and they really like donuts. Um, I think I would be an earth bender. Or at least I think I'd want to be an earthbender. If I could be an earthbender, I would like that. Because I just think it seems like a lot of fun. You can make a house. You could do so many things. Oh, and you can learn how to metal bend. Oh my god, it's so cool. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm on round 13? No, 14. I'm on round 14. Which means only a couple more rounds. And then... Uh, we can do another giveaway. Yes, yes, Kelly. Yeah. Oh, you, you little tricksters. I know what you're talking about. Where do I keep all my crocheted items? Do I have a shelf or store them somewhere? Uh, I mean, Jamie, that's a great question. The, f I do have a shelf. Um, I've got like about a million shelves. Uh, currently, I have a lot of them just like around one two three four five sorry i almost lost track there um currently i have two drawers that are literally right next to me right now so right here i have one drawer that's just completely filled up and then actually maybe i can just see there's my first drawer that's fully filled Ooh, gotta fix that camera i shouldn't have done that Oh well. And a little lower. There we go. So I got two of those drawers right here. Um, and then I, they're just everywhere. Like literally everywhere in this apartment there, you, you look in any corner and there's something crocheted in the, in the corner of it. Um, right next to me right here, I have my perch, uh, my, perch of of burbs there's just a bunch of them we got little 
like cockatoos and stuff like that there. Um, but yes, they're everywhere. Lava bending is so cool. Dahlia, why don't I use a stitch marker? Um, I usually don't use stitch markers because it's a little bit quicker for me to crochet without a stitch marker. Uh, and I don't know. I just do. I just don't use a stitch marker so often now that I forget to. Um, although I am using a stitch marker in this pattern. It's just uh, really far down. I just haven't been like bringing it up, but it's right there. But I do. I do and I don't. I do and I don't. Ready, neck crack time. Oh, never mind. I almost... Probably just almost broke my neck. Can you imagine? What a terrible live stream that would be. Um, <laughs> Blue animation. Can I crochet a cat? Definitely. Um, cats are going to be part of my bonimals. Uh, or at least I'm going to do a very tiny cat for the bonimals. Um, which are these very tiny crocheted creatures. Uh, that are coming out soon and I just yeah there's gonna be a cat there uh, but I should do more cats I think I should definitely crochet Jimbo eventually who is currently asleep on my on my chair right there right there <laughs> ask her out Nazuko Is that a Rowlet in the background? It absolutely is. Fernanda, that is a Rowlet. Good, good eye. Good eye. Uh, <laughs> Luca. Yeah, I just put one seed. I figured this is a naked, almost naked strawberry. It's got one seed. Oh, depending on what you guys decide on where, on how to make the face, I think it might be a good idea. Might be. A good idea to put a butt on this strawberry. Yeah, we'll see. Depends on the face. But, you know. <laughs> yes, Domi Domination, that's exactly what happened. So Domination said, yes, it's a Rowlet. Someone joined the club crochet, became a club crochet member. So I, I put little characters out here if people donate or if they are um, become a club crochet member. And so someone became a club crochet member, and so I added Rowlet to the background there for their membership. Let's see. Do that. Did we get any more? Let's find out. No, no. But that's okay. That's okay. Warrior Cactus is crocheting a very tiny octopus. What did I? Uh, what did I say? Oh, a butt. <laughs> Well, guess what? <laughs> I hate to be the one to break the news to you, Kelly. But children also have butts. We all have them. Every one of us have butts. I know. I know. Oh. <laughs> it's something we all have in common, really. And also, butts are funny. Uh, Lorelai? Oh, Lorelai. Lorelai. I love that name. Um, the next hint is going to be after our next round. So we're on round 15 right now. I got to finish up round 16, and then I'll do another hint. Yes, Jamie, you do. You only get one guess for the giveaway. If you don't get it right, that's okay. I'm going to probably do another giveaway next week week anyhow um but if you do get it right and you're the first one to get it right you'll win a uh 20 gift card to the club crochet store which will get you almost any kit in the store that's so pretty good uh and then if you're right but you're not the first one right you'll still win five dollars i think i'm going to make it uh, maybe not this time because it's too little too late but next time i think it's going to be like if you're one of if, if you're the first if you're the first one that gets it right you win the big giveaway if you're the next if you're in the top 10 you get another giveaway so that it's not like every single person gets five dollars because last time it was like 
I think like 20, 30 people won the $5 giveaway. And I was like, whoops, <laughs> that's like $100. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, well. <laughs> so, yeah, not this time because it's too little too late. But next time, I think I will limit it a little bit. But I suggest you go for it. Um, get the, go for the giveaway. Go for the big, big bucks. Yes, you could buy a pin for $5, actually. You absolutely could. Or stickers. You might even be able to get a pin and a sticker. I'm not totally sure. Hello, the Mariahs. Welcome to the stream. I wonder where Johnny is. I haven't seen her in a sec. Um, okay. Wow, this video already has 250 likes. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're definitely going to end up doing another giveaway. Um, well, cool. Get it to 350. We'll do another one next week. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? Yeah, I just got to finish this. And then we can do a giveaway. Or another hint. We're why wire why wow um asks do I sell my art I do sell some of it um and if you are interested in purchasing anything that you see on screen just let me know reach out at Louis at clubcrochet.com uh, I do think that I want to start doing like a um what's the word like an auction during my live streams where it's like whoever tips the most gets whatever I'm making in the live stream or something like that. I don't really know exactly how it's going to work yet, but uh, I want to start selling the things that I'm actually making in the live streams eventually. Okay. Where am I at? How am I doing on the camera work, by the way? I think I'm doing all right. Not bad, not bad. Um, how do I do my left-handed tutorials? That's a great question. I, I actually just flip everything. Um, I know. Do a... Uh-oh. I just saw my screen do something, do a little weird thing. Oh, gosh, we're going to lose it. Okay, hold on. Do you see me? Oh, boy. Is it going to do the thing? Did it go lag? If you can see me right now, comment with an emoji of a an emoji of a uh hands like this. Hands like this. Let me know. Because it lagged out. I saw it happen. I saw it do a little jump. Bobby says that Bobby says we see you, but I don't know. Watch, it's about yep. There we go. Nezuko, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Um, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. I was putting out something for you, for Mister for Mister Danny. Thank you so much for your support, Danny. Danny said they downloaded this pattern and I've gotten to the stem and got stuck. I'm so glad you're doing this live. Love your streams. Thank you so much, Danny. When I get to the stem, I'll go nice and slow for you to help you out. Um, what round specifically did you get stuck on, Danny? Let me know. Uh, I'm going to put out a... Let's see. What do we put out for Dani? Dani. Oh, this is cute. This is cute and nice. And it works with the strawberry theme. It's perfect, really. A little tiny milkshake, a strawberry milkshake. The straw, I don't know where the straw went. It's somewhere in there, but this is a strawberry milkshake and it's gonna be out here just for you, Danny. Thank you for your support. And it makes sense because it's strawberry. Look at all the pink we got going on. It's perfect. It's perfect even. Oh, okay, we're doing uh, another hint. Another hint. Here we go. Hint number two. First off, we gotta move this over so that it's got room for the second hint. And then we gotta go in here. Hint number two is a is another like somewhat easy hint. 
because you know they gotta start with with more broad hints and then get more difficult as the time goes on so hint number two is the colors used in this pattern four colors are used in the pattern to make whatever is in this box go guess in the link that is in the chat um i'll put it in the i'll put it in the comments right now oopsies hold on Let's see did anybody get it right yet uh, I, you know what? I'm, I can't tell you that. Okay, hold on. I just need to put this in the chat. Guess what's in the box to win? Boom. Hold on. Boom. Okay, we're ready. We're good. We're doing good. We're chilling. Okay, so there's your second hint. There are four colors used in this pattern. In the pattern that's in this box. Okay, so Danny, you get stuck when you're making the petals uh, round eight of the stem. Okay, sounds good. I will help you out when we get there. Uh, remind me again if I get close to there and you think that I might have forgotten. Because I might have and I'm sorry. Um, Osa Craft, goodbye. Thank you for joining. I hope we see you next week. Again, make sure to subscribe if you're not yet. Um, I'm on round 17, by the way. Uh, now is if you are making a chocolate covered strawberry, now is when you would do like the drippy border to make the chocolate covered strawberry. But we're not doing that. We're doing just a regular strawberry instead. Uh, so we're on round 17, and the next. Next four rounds are just single crochet. So that's a pretty easy few rounds. So I can I can chat with you guys. I don't really need to think much even. I don't need to think at all. Uh, <laughs> Elena says that their first crochet pattern they wrote was an appa. And then they made one with chunky yarn and it turned out big. I love Appa. Appa is the cutest. Someone actually reached out one time and wanted to do an Appa pattern for Club Crochet. Uh, and they sent over the pattern and everything, but I just didn't have the time to get it made in time for uh, the library. And I just, I felt so bad about that. It's still somewhere in my inbox and I, I feel terrible. There's a few patterns from other artists that have wanted to reach out and like work, you know, do a collaboration and stuff. And I just haven't had the chance to to get them done yet. So maybe an oppa pattern will be out in the future. I do have an oppa, a crocheted oppa somewhere, but I don't know where it is. It's probably in this box, if I'm being completely honest. Somewhere in there. Nizuko, possibly. Possibly. I, I definitely think that uh, something that's something I am trying to do a lot more, especially this year, is do more collaborations, as you can tell with this giant strawberry. Um, Drew, that's because this is not my pattern. It's Drewby Zeus, who is somewhere in the chat uh, and has a YouTube channel, but hasn't uploaded anything yet to their YouTube channel, I don't think, but they will be soon. So go check them out. Um, and we're going to be doing another collaboration with them soon. And then last month's pattern was we also did a pattern that was a collaboration and then in april for crochet for earth day we're doing five collaborations at the exact same time so it's going to be a big one there you go Jerby zoo that's he just said it that you're given you're given our giveaway away our our, our collaboration a white droby not really but also kind of um Aprande asks, sorry if I answered this before, but when did I learn to crochet? I learned to crochet in high school, which was like, I think like 15 years ago now. Yikes. Um, <laughs> I think I learned when I was about 15 years old. Um, I learned it in high school and I uh, started to just get really crafty in general. I started to just make things for friends uh, and p girls that I had crushes on. 
And then finally there was a pattern that I found online for like an octopus. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome. You can crow, you can make something out of yarn, like a toy out of yarn, like you're a 3D printer. That sounds dope. Actually, I don't even think 3D printers were a thing yet. That sounds really cool. I wanna learn how to do that. And so I just kept going to Joann's and buying crochet hooks and yarn. And the reason I had to keep buying crochet hooks is because I kept buying plastic crochet hooks and I'd break them. Um, but eventually I learned how to do it. Uh, and then after that, I don't think I looked at another pattern again for like four years. I just kept making my own patterns instead and designing my own things, which is why I started doing video tutorials because I didn't know how to write a pattern very well. So I would instead do a video tutorial where I explain it. And, uh, but yeah, long story short, it was kind of a little bit to, uh, to ask, to, to give to girls as gifts that I had a crush on, <laughs> the one in particular. Uh, and yeah, it ended up working out. We did go out. We had dated for like three years. It was a bad relationship, but I did get crochet out of it. So there's that. One, two, three. <laughs> And so that is how I learned how to crochet. Blue Animation learned how to crochet when they were five. That is very early on. 10, wow. Do I have a course on how to write patterns? Not yet, but I will soon. Um, we're working on another um, membership option for the website for designers, which is gonna include this thing like a build your own patterns, uh, system on the website where you can take different parts of my patterns and put them together to make your own. Uh, we're going to have a series on how to design your own patterns, um, how to write your own patterns, uh, which I think are very different. Um, we're going to have a series on how to uh, turn them into PDFs, how to make your own PDFs, how to make your own videos, how to make your own, uh, how to sell them on Etsy and Ravelry and all that other stuff. It's going to be like a whole series specifically on if you want to become an Amy Gurumi artist, uh, how to do that. So that will be coming out hopefully next year and in, in the start of next year. There's obviously a lot of stuff to do when it comes to that. I'm, I'm essentially trying to like write a book while I'm trying to write like three other books. So yeah, it's pretty exhausting, but long story short, yes, that is a plan in the uh, near-ish future. My Obesan taught me, Obesan means, I think it means aunt, Obasan. Is that aunt or is that grandma? I'm not, I don't remember but it's one of them's. It's not mom. Yes, that'll be part of a membership. Yeah, you'll get you'll get that in addition to all like the other stuff. Yeah, and it's gonna, uh, we're also doing, we're also planning a pin club. So like every month, instead of getting a kit, you would get a pin. So it'll be a little bit less cost for a membership, but it'll be like a pin club in addition to getting all these design things. Uh, and then the pro members will also get pins. So, yeah, we got big plans. Big plans coming out soon. We're also trying to get our own yarn made. Obviously, there's going to be a whole bunch of new tutorials coming out before then, too. So, it is a lot of things. It's grandma. Obasan is grandma. Okay, my bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sean Sniper just found the channel yesterday. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining, Sean. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, obviously you better subscribe, dude. And wait, there was something else I wanted to look at. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see if there's any new Club Crochet members. Let's see. No, no new Club Crochet members. Wah, wah, wah. That's okay. That's all right. It's fine. Dabbing him. <laughs> Why? Uh, <laughs> wow. Divine Rose Knight says that they're going to make two. By the way, hello, Divine Rose Knight. I did not see you in the chat until now. Welcome. I'm sure you've been here for a while, but it's good to uh, see you. 
Um, they said they need to finish two sweaters. Crocheting two sweaters? I've never crocheted a sweater. That seems just like a lot of work. Um, <laughs> and I, I like doing patterns that take like no time at all. Although I have always wanted to do one. Yeah, same O. Well, now, now crocheting kind of has become a less of like, I mean, it is very relaxing to crochet and more of just like second nature. I don't even like, I, I honestly can crochet while I'm, at least while my eyes closed and my mind is wandering, I can be like, and the only reason I can do that is because I practiced when I was crocheting, especially when I was crocheting the same thing over and over. Um, when I was in high school, I was making a lot of beanies because that's how I was like making money. I was my job was I would crochet beanies and I'd sell them. And uh, the same beanie pattern that's on the website, if you want to learn how to do it, is clubcrochet.com slash beanie. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, when I was doing that, I just had to do like single crochets forever over and over and over again. So I practiced a lot crocheting without looking. I did finish one beanie with my eyes closed. It just took me a long time. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. Sarah said that they fell yesterday. Hope you didn't break anything or anything like that. Falling is a bummer. Uh, okay, I think I'm finishing up now with round 20, which means that we're about to add the face, which means I think it's time to get some advice from you. So we can do obviously a bunch of different kinds of faces. Uh, we have, there we go. See, we're going, we're going pretty quick actually. We're only what, an hour in? Oh shoot, I can't tell because our time changed. Does it say? Yeah, we're, uh, we're about an hour and 15 in. That's okay. Um, okay, so we want to do a face. Now, here are our options. I'm going to put this in a poll to get you guys' opinion. Obviously, we could do a classic face like this, which is what I did in the pattern itself. So this one's just going to be called classic. Oop. We can do a derpy face. This one, I really like the derpy face, uh, personally. I think the derpy face is very cute. I even did little eyebrows for him. Derpy face is fun. And then we could do something weird. We could do like, we could do like a cat face. We could do like a face like this. We could do like a ooh face. <laughs> um, what other faces can we do? Suggestions, anybody have any suggestions in the chat? What kind of face? A wrinkly face. Oh, a winky face, not a wrinkly face. That'd be weird. A winky face, that's a good idea. A winky face would be good. Derp face. Um, okay, let's do, I'll put it in the chat or in the in a form. We're gonna go with either, we got what kind of face should I make? Boop, boop, boop. We got derpy, uh, smiley, uh, winky, uh, and then how about a I'm actually just drawing this one out because. Actually, I'm just going to call it kawaii. Uh, any other ones? Let's see. Derpy. I mean, I think that's good. That's four options. Four options. Oh, and a mustache. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can I change it? Can, oh, you know what? Mustache is probably going to be added regardless. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Do you want to add a mustache to it? There's your options. Um, I'm going to do a kawaii face. I like the idea of a kawaii face. And... We'll put that in there, but you choose whatever, whatever face you want me to make. That is, it is your choice. Actually, I don't know if a mustache would go well with a kawaii face. So keep that in mind. We might not do a mustache if we do a kawaii face, just cause it might be weird, you know? Ooh, a tongue out. Yes. 
Yes, yes. Okay, well, the first thing I got to do before I even do that is I need to add the eyes anyhow. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and add the, out of the eyes on. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Lou? Okay, so <laughs> we're going to count up from the bottom. Um, I like adding my eyes between rounds 13 and 14. So we'll go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13 and 14. So somewhere around here. We'll go like, let's start with one right here. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go like right here. And see how that looks. Now I'm not gonna lock these eyes into place until we're sure about it. I'm actually gonna go a little bit further away with the eyes. Maybe like that. And is this too far? is the question on everyone's minds. Is that too far away for eyes? It's pretty far, it's pretty far. Let's try this one back in one. So that, looks, that looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Winky mustachioed. Winky mustachioed face, she said. Winky mustachioed. Ooh, Kawaii is winning by a long shot. A gender reveal. Pinky mustached. Let's see. I wonder what we can do. Let's try. Well, let's first get our black yarn ready here. Uh, oh, I'm going to drink some coffee while you're thinking about that. While we're making those decisions, too. <laughs> Blue animation says, bro, what the... Why? What happened? A kissy face? That is what it is. It's a kissy face. I guess we could do kissy like that way too. Let's see. Wow, we already got 60 votes. Jeez, you guys are active today. Rocking and rolling. Looks like Kawhi is going to gonna win it. But we'll see. Did I put something out for you, Danny? Oh, I did. Okay. Yes, yeah, so a top hat would be fun. So, let's try going like... Let's see how this looks first, okay? Because this is going to be the kawaii face. It looks like kawaii is going to win by a pretty long shot. A pretty long shot. Beautiful long shot. One, two, and then one, two. So, it'll be like right there. And then... Down here, maybe. We're doing some we're doing some fancy footwork. Let's we'll see how this looks. Okay. Let's see how this goes. And then we'll just tighten everything a little bit. Right? That looks pretty good. How do we feel about this, my friends? I like the way that looks personally. You're right, it probably won't look good with a mustache though. But, but it will look good with a tongue. It will look good with a little tongue. And then maybe, let's try a wink. Let's see how a wink looks. We'll replace this eye. And we'll go, yeah, we'll just go over this one. Over a little bit. And we're going to go, boom, boom. Okay, we're going to see how this looks, my friends. My friends. I think this needs to be a little longer of an eye, but oh, maybe not, actually. Let's see. Okay, round it out a little bit. And then, actually, let's see if we can add... This might be going overboard, but let's see if we can add some eyelashes to that, too. Like this.
Look how quick we made that face. That was crazy, right? Just me? I think that was pretty fast. Um, okay. How do we feel about this? Should I do another one of those eyes over here instead of making it wink? Does it look like it's winking or does it look like it just has an eye problem? <laughs> Who knows? Um, maybe this eye could go a little higher. Maybe like right there. I think we should do two eyes like that. Oh my god, a beret is a great idea, Kelly. Keep that in mind. A beret is a great idea. Domination, thank you so much for joining. I hope we see you next week. The, okay, Mickey Cricky, I think you're right. The other eye should be the same. I think you're totally correct with that. So I'll go ahead. But this looks good, right? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, Coffee and Crochet says looks pretty good. Or, or yeah, or we could do a normal eye with eyelashes. Let's double knot this on the inside, and then we'll add the other eye. Um, we'll see what it looks like with the other eye with eyelashes first. And then if we don't like that, we'll just do a, another wink, like, so that his eyes are closed, like, Ugh. you know, like, eh. I do like the idea of a beret, but we're definitely going to have to uh, do another poll to choose the hat in a little bit. A raspberry beret. A raspberry would be a fun pattern, by the way. Hey, Drooby, take note. <laughs> a raspberry would be a fun one. Because we're talking about doing like a bunch of different kinds of fruit, maybe. And a raspberry would be pretty cute. Um, I, I was thinking like, you know, apples and a pineapple, maybe. But a raspberry would be super cute. Okay, let's see what this looks like with eyelashes on the other eye before we decide to do just like straight up a nether smile or closed eye. Okay, question guys, what do we think? Do we like this or do we want it to be closed like this eye? What do you think? Let me know in the chat, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm looking on it. Yeah, you know what, Drewby, maybe we could do a, yeah, exactly what Chief Snobbles says. Dude, you, Chief Snobbles is, read my mind here. Um, yeah, if we could use maybe bobble stitches or something, just like spread out, we could almost use this same like size or like shape, but with little bobbles instead. I don't know, but bobbles might, might be a way to do it. Two closed eyes. Okay, so Zoe thinks the two closed eyes is a good idea. Okay. Cheryl, Cheryl likes it. I, I think, yeah, I, I'm kind of like, I'm torn. I'm definitely torn right now. I don't know if I want it with one eye like this or with both of them like this. Tracy thinks closed both eyes. A hat will be happening, blue animation. Don't worry about that. Okay. Too close. You know what? Most people are saying too close. Let's let's give it too close a shot. Well, actually, that's pretty cute too, because then it looks like it's kind of winking, but that doesn't really make any sense, does it? Let's go ahead and give it a shot with a double closed eyes. See if I can't replicate the same eye again. Ah. Okay, so that's going to be one, two stitches over. One, two. So starting here. And then I went... How did I do this? I went over a few. One, two. Then up one. Like that to go around this bit. Right? Yes, perfect. And then I went... One stitch over. Gotta pull this a little tighter. And then in, out. You know what, I'm gonna go out like in between this stitch to give it a little bit more room. 
and then back in through there. Let's see how this looks. Get a little bit more roundness. Roundness over there. This bit we need to tie a little tighter so it looks more like an eyelash. What do we think, guys? Do we like this? I think I like this. I think the only thing I want to do is add a little tongue. Like maybe to the side. Or 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 cheeks, actually. Little pink cheeks under would be pretty good too. Okay. Oh, let's end the the poll, by the way. Because we're gonna do another poll in just a second. And then also I think our music ended for some reason. So let's do I added a bunch of weird music on here, so let's see how it goes. This is nice, sunny day music. It is a sunny day here. How is it where you guys are, by the way? Maddie, thank you for joining the stream. Okay, so we got winking. I mean, we got we got our eyes closed. I mean, very kawaii, right? Totomo? Is that is that right? Hey, Nezuko, if you're in the chat, Oh, you are in the chat. Nezuko, is this correct? If I said totemo kawaii this? Is that correct? Is that me saying it's very kawaii? Because that's what I'm trying to say. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Let's do... um. Let's do... Let's try pink cheeks. I think it's totally okay to be... <laughs> okay. Now, personally... I think it's totally chill to be a straight dude and really like things that are adorably kawaii. Just don't get obsessed with them. But I really like things that are like really cute, personally. I'm a, I'm a fan of the cute. All right, so we're gonna go, let's start, let's try cheeks first. Well, we could try a tongue. I don't know. I, now I'm starting to think that a tongue wouldn't really work. You know? Like, I don't know why. I'm just thinking like a tongue out to the side. It wouldn't really look like a tongue. I don't know. Whoa, Cheryl has a storm here in England, causing a lot of damage around England. Wow, geez, that's crazy. Because it is like sunny as farts here. Sunny as farts. I think that's the technical term. No tongue. YouTube analyst says, no tongue, mate. No tongue, mate. Yeah, no, everyone's saying no tongue. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I mean, I think I agreed. Let's try cheeks. I think right there is actually totally perfect for cheeks. Like this. One, two over. How's this going to look? Oh, Obasan says hi. Oh, hi, all. Um. Wait. Um. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time remembering words. Um, okay, do we like that? Look at that for cheeks. I think it's too high up. I think it's too high up. Let's go a little lower with it. This might be too low for cheeks though. Too low? Way too low, way too low. That doesn't look right at all. Let's try um, to the right. Let's try a little bit over more. This. That's a, now that's what we're talking about there. That's a cute little trick. <laughs> I'm crazy. Uh, can I make a cat tutorial? Yes, cat tutorial will be coming out soon. And yes, the other hint will come out uh, one second. Let me just finish this face and then I'll do another hint for you, uh, Kelly. 
Kelly, not so Kelly. I know your name isn't Kelly, but that that's close enough. <laughs> it says Kelly. Um, okay, we're <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go over here with this second cheek. Like this. Like that. That is cute as heck. Oh my god. I kind of want to add cat ears to it. I won't. Maybe. I probably... I might. I might add cat ears, actually. Because that sounds cute. Oh, Mickey hates the cheeks. Too low. Alright, I might cut these cheeks out. Let me, let me finish them up. I'm totally cool with cutting them out. But we gotta look at it first. We gotta get a good, good view. Cat ears would be really cute, right? Okay, look. Look at that. I, I mean, Mickey, I don't know, dude. Those look pretty cute, especially when he's gonna have little um, seeds everywhere. That sounds pretty adorable. Oh my god, and a beret and cat. Guys. Guys, maybe we should do a cat nose then. No, it doesn't need a nose. It doesn't need a nose. Arigato gozaimasu! Alright. Um, oh, genki desu ka? Looks fine to you, Tamaki, Tamaka. They're gonna clash with the seeds! <laughs> That's what... You might be right. Druby loves the cheeks. Oh, yeah, Druby is a fan of cheeks. Zenith MMO for the for VR. I don't know that Cooperlicious. I don't have anything to do VR though. Okay, okay. We like this so far. We might add cat ears. We can decide cat ears a little later. Uh, but in the meantime, while we're while while we're thinking about this, um. Uh, we're gonna just keep crocheting. We're gonna, I think I'm gonna keep this face. I can always remove the cheeks later. Um, I think it might be kind of cute to do cheeks with uh, the yellow yarn, like it's a seed. That's the cheek. Maybe I don't know, but we'll we'll look at that in a little bit. In the meantime, let's do another hint for the giveaway. I have five hints total, and I have about. Okay, the, this is gonna be the last hint for a second though. Um, bef I'm gonna do a hint now, and then I'm gonna finish this up, stuff it, and sew it closed, and maybe even add the seeds before I do the next hint, because the net, like, there's only gonna be a few more hints. I kind of feel like I should wait for a hint. What is the next hint? Let me look, let me look. Let's see how hard, let's see how good this next hint is. Ooh, it's a good hint. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll give you one more hint. But between this hint and the next hint, I need to give a little bit of space because the next hint after this is like a really obvious hint, I think. So this hint will, but this hint will do. Then this hint is hint number three. The category that it is on the website is pod person. So it is a pod person. It is in the pod person category on the website. That's a pretty good hint. So it narrows it down pretty pretty drastically. It's a pattern on the website. It's a little person, and uh, it's got uses four different colors. It has 216 stitches total. Go guess what it is. I'm gonna put it in the chat again. Oops. Go guess in the chat. And uh, let's keep crocheting. Let's keep crocheting. And we'll come back to this in a little bit later. Okay, so we are on round... I think we're on round 21. Oh yeah, okay, we're, we're starting to decrease. Actually, I'm gonna use a stitch marker here just so that I know where I'm at. Um, let's go. Boom. 
Perfect. That'll just help us keep track of where we're at. All right. Kelly guest. Hello, boy. Welcome to the chat. Oh my God, your uh, thumbnail is very cute. A little piglet, a little piglet's face. That's super cute. One, two, three, four. Dude, a piggy, uh, a piggy version of this would be really cute. Like a little pig nose. That'd be super cute. I don't know what I'd do with it, but it, <laughs> that sounds really cute. Takoyaki, welcome. Takoyaki, what is your native language and how do you say hello in it? I would like to be able to say hello to you in your native language. I know it's not English. So let me know, Takoyaki. All right. Three four, five, six, and then we're gonna decrease. Yeah, so if you're crocheting with me right now, I'm on round 21. We just finished the face. Um, and I think it's gonna be pretty cute, pretty cute, pretty cute. Let's see, oh, looks like we got a new member. We did, did we? Wait, hold on. Yes, we did. We got two. Three, wait, wait, hold on. Let me make sure I got this right before I do this. One, two, did I mess up? Wait. We did, we got three, three new memberships. Cool, heck yes. Um, thank you guys so much for becoming members. The new members are Ace. Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, Daniel or Danielle. No, Daniel. Daniel, thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. And Metal Ike. Um, thank you. That's three members. We're going to put something out for all three of you. Uh, uh, we're going to put out Pod People because I love Pod People. And we were just talking about piglets, so it's only the perfect time. So this one is for Ace. Ace, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. I'm gonna have this little pit, this little pug out for you during the live stream. We're gonna put the pug right next to the gift right there. Actually, no, we're gonna put it right here and you'll see why in a second. We're gonna move the zombie a little bit. Tina, what did you name your zombie again? That started with a V, I think. Okay, so we got this for Ace. Um, this next one is for Dania, Daniel, and then we got Metal Ike. Oh wait, do we have another one too? When was this one? Man, it's hard for me to tell when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, okay, so we got Metal Ike and, and Daniel. So Daniel, I'm gonna put this little piglet for you. Gonna twist its tail a little bit more because we saw a little pig on the screen so this little piglet is gonna be out for you right here these patterns are coming out in the club crochet uh, library soon next month uh, all these little um, I call them bonimals so all these bonimals are gonna be coming out soon by the way make sure to subscribe you know the dealio um, so this little piglet also check this out look look at the look at the pug in the corner see him moving it's like please give me the piglet i'm a magician all right <laughs> piglet on top of the head of the pug and then this one is for mike metal something oh my god and then we got a new pro membership too like just got a new pro membership so this one's for metal ike is a little um a little uh 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 uh, uh mouse that goes on top of the piglet right and then uh for our new pro member redhead zero one two one oh look it it just popped up right there boom redhead oh no wait i'm sorry not redhead seize the day so S-E-A-S, -E Seize the Day. Thank you for your pro membership. That's even better. You're gonna get a new uh, reversible frog kit 
in the beginning of the month, but we gotta put something out a little bit bigger for you because, you know, pro membership. Let's do, oh, let's do this. He fell out earlier and he's pink like the rest of the stuff. This is called an antlered hibigon, which is a creature that I invented um, from Lenonia, which is this imaginary land of creatures. Uh, and this is for you. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, for becoming a Club Crochet Pro member, I'm gonna put this right here. Ooh, ooh. Where do we put this? Here. He's gonna, he's gonna be friends with the milkshake. And don't forget to guess what's in this kit or in this box. But yes, that is for you. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet Pro member. And okay, I'm pretty sure that was it. I'm pretty sure. Thank you all so much for your support. The woggle is suspicious. <laughs> Mickey Cricky, you want to make which one? Which one in specific do you want to make? Because that will help me decide which patterns to focus on more than the other ones. One, two, three, four, five, and then a six, and then an invisible decrease. Okay, we got to keep crocheting. I can't can't slow down the antlered fuzzy thing oh that oh the antlered hibigon um or no i mean the beach hibigon i think that one's actually the beach hibigon um i think i have a tutorial for it i don't know if it's in the library but i definitely have a pattern written for five and six uh so you know mickey just reach out i'll i can send you the pdf i think i have the pdf somewhere um, Cheryl wants to make the piggy. That's going to be out next month. <laughs> Drewbies. You're a cheater. <laughs> Drewbies says, my official guess. Amigurumi. No, uh One, two, three. No, it's not Amigurumi. Just kidding, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a decrease. Okay, we're, we're doing it. We're cruising. Oh my gosh, that freaking face is so cute. We're gonna have to do some real tricky work when it comes to the seeds, um, especially because we have like a full strawberry, so there's gonna be a lot of seeds. Three, four, five, six, and then decrease. Okay. Yeah, the most difficult parts of the pattern are actually coming up now, like soon, which is gonna be adding the seeds, um, doing the thing on the the, the, the the calyx that's what it's called the leaves on top of a strawberry are called the calyx Druby taught me that woggle Wog you spelled it right the first time aura w-o-g-g-l-e oh tina you posted a picture of a <laughs> of a giraffe that you crocheted i can't wait to see it on the discord by the way, if you haven't yet, you should join the Discord channel. That's our little um, little chat page where we talk after these live streams and in between videos and stuff. Um, there's links in the description on where to join it, but you can also just go to clubcrochet.com slash discord. Uh, and one of the big things that we like to do in the Discord channel is post pictures of things that we've crocheted, which is what Tina was saying. And, and, <laughs> and Kelly's like, we all need to see it. Next time, when I get a little second here, I'll, I'll bring it up. Uh, I'll bring up a picture of your giraffe. But we definitely are uh, slightly behind schedule. Just slightly. Two. Just because I know how long these seeds are going to take. It just can be a little like, ugh, I got to add the seeds. You know, I, hmm, I wonder how you could do seeds like while you were going. Uh, it's, it's too much thinking. That takes too much thinking. Too much thinking stuff. Oh my gosh, please do, Cheryl. I can't wait. The eyelash, oc the eyeless octopus that you cr crocheted. Gosh, I love this song. Who knows what this song is from? Uh, 
Okay, one more round of decreasing, and then I will start to stuff it up. Um, these strawberries take a decent amount of, stra of stuffing, so it's best to like start stuffing it now, like while the hole at the top is big, um, and then as it gets smaller, adding more stuffing as it goes because there's just it just can take a decent amount of stuffing. And you don't want to understuff this strawberry, especially, um, and you don't want to overstuff it. So you want somewhere right in the between. I guess you kind of always want that, don't you? Fernanda, got it right first. Super Mario Sunshine. What a great game. Hard game. That game gets really difficult, but it is really great game. I actually just beat that last year when uh, the new, like, the Mario game came out on the Switch. The, the one that was like... It was like Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and uh, Super Mario Galaxy all came out at the same time. And I never beat Galaxy, but I did beat, um, I, re I played Super Sunshine again and beat that. Oh, dude, Kelly, it's a great game. It's really good. It's also, it's on the Switch, so, or I think as long as you can find a, a copy of the 3D, of the mario 3d world game i don't know if they still sell it or not they said they weren't going to but i'm not totally sure Ooh, nazuko wants a crocheted yoshi hold on i'll show you one okay that's the end of that round check this out nazuko i think i have it right here so once upon a time i was working on a uh on a stop motion video of a crocheted yoshi running across the screen and here's my crocheted yoshi for it and i put its legs on little pins so i could do it stop motion really easy see, so you can spin around like that um but yeah once upon a time i do have this pattern somewhere written down uh but i need to redo it a little bit i mean just look how detailed it is and there was no video tutorial for it so i need to do a video tutorial for it and everything it's having a hard time sitting right now because of his legs are so wiggly uh, and i got another one somewhere with pipe cleaners instead of those but yeah but I should come out with this pattern soon. I, I just want to get these eyes better because um, these safety eyes with that are ovals, I actually don't have. So I need to get some more of those ovals and, and rework this pattern a little bit. But it's very cute and it's so tiny. You can actually put that little crocheted Mario pod person on top of it too. So very cute. I have a Koopa too, actually. Let's see, do I have a Koopa in here? Hold on. I do have a Koopa Troopa. Here he is. There's the Koopa. Hello. Pretty cute. Oh, pretty cute. And this is this is more wiry. You can see you got little wire legs and stuff. It's a, this shell pattern is on the library, uh, the, for the Mario shell, but the Koopa itself is not. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Stop distracting me. No, don't really. You can distract me all you want. Okay, we're gonna add, uh, first I'm gonna add all this. Oh, Jimbo just woke up from a dream. It was really cute. Um, Croshi, <laughs> that's great. I'm stuffing it just a little bit right now. Oh, what happened? The cam Did the camera go out? I don't know, Fernanda said the camera. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It, it's, yeah, it does take a shocking amount of stuffing to stuff this guy up. And what sucks is you can only stuff it so much right now before it's like unruly, <laughs> you know, like, after a while, let's add these in there too. I've got so many extra threads that I should use to stuff it with. Just to get rid of these extra threads everywhere. Do I have any more? Let's use this stuff too. Threads are great because it just adds a little bit more density to the stuffing too. Jules is doing great today. Oh, Cooper, thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Thank you, obviously, for your donation. 
And I'll see you next week, Coop. Hope you have a, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. All right. That's probably enough stuffing for right now. We'll come back to it in just a sec. Um, I think I have squeakers somewhere, which would be kind of fun to just toss in there. I don't know if it would work, but I wonder if I can go find those. Two, three. Decrease. I'll go look. After I finish this round, I'm going to go look for to see if I have... I think I have extra squeakers that I could throw in there. Mattia, hello. Ciao. Konnichiwa. Um, hola. Uh, how else do you say hello? Give, say hi in a different language. Oh, you know what? Takoyaki, you never told me. How did you say hello? I don't know if you're still in the chat, but if you are, how do you say hello? Now we decrease it down. Boom. Bonjour. Ah, oui. Bonjour. <laughs> Drewby's like, this one's actually smaller than I normally make. Yeah, he makes some hunky, hunky crochet. Check out his, he's got this really big, um, uh, what's it called? Hippo. That is really cool. Yeah, you must spend so much money on, on stuffing, Drewby. Yeah, I usually do mini. I don't think you necessarily should start designing them smaller. It just makes it easier to do like live streams and stuff for sure. <laughs> I just, I like making little mini things cause I don't, I like to crochet a lot of different things. Oh, Ni Hao. Oh, Ni Hao. I knew Ni Hao. Salut. Aloha. Ooh, what's a Labas? What, what language is Labas? Yeah, same. Yeah, I like to make things that are tiny. Itty bitty, usually. The chunkatoo. A, cock a chunky cockatoo. Five pounds? Wow. Oh my gosh. That's literally like... <laughs> it's like all the stuffing I have to make that. Ooh, thank you, Danny. Thank you for the reminder. Yes, I will go nice and slow when it comes to the petals of the um, the leaves. Two, and then decrease it. Ooh, Russian for thank you is sabisabo. Sabisabo. Russian. Sabisable. Did I say it right? Sabisable. <laughs> this is my Russian accent. Do you like? Do you like my Russian accent? Labis is Lithuanian. Whoa, Lithuanian. Oh, Emerald Turtle! They say, hello, Emerald Turtle. Welcome to the chat. Uh, they ask, they, they see a turtle... Did I create a pattern for it? Not yet, but I will. Uh, I'll create a pattern for you. It's a really, really, really easy pattern. It's actually just like um, a few. I actually might be able to increase. And then looks like one, two, three, four, five, 15. And then, okay. All right, Emerald Turtle, ready? I'll, I'll say it. I'm gonna say it out loud for you right now. This is the pattern for this little turtle. Um, and then I'm going to do a video tutorial for it and stuff eventually. But here's just a quick sneak peek. So it's six single crochets into the magic loop, all in brown. And then you increase up uh, to 12 single crochets in the round uh, by doing an increase into each stitch. And then you increase up to 15 stitches around by doing three single crochets. And then an increase repeated three times around, which will bring you up uh, from 12 to 15. 
And then it's a round of all single crochets. So uh, round, let's see, so that's round four would be all single crochets. And then round five is where you're gonna make the, um, the head and the arms and the legs. So for round five, it looks like it is, um, yes, round five it is one single crochet, a bobble stitch in green, two single crochets, another bobble stitch in green, one single crochet, and the bobble stitches are gonna be green and the rest are gonna be brown. So after the second leg, it's one single crochet and then a bobble stitch in the round above. So it's not the same round, but one round higher in green. And then there's a single crochet and then another bobble stitch, two single crochets, a bobble stitch, and then three more single crochets to get to the end of the round. And then after that, you decrease it down. So, uh, so after that round would be um, a round of three single crochets and then an invisible decrease uh, three times around to go from 15 down to 12. And then uh, the last round is a decrease into each stitch to go from 12 to six single crochets around. Whew. And then you, <clears throat> and then you stuff it up. You add eyes using black yarn and uh, uh, sew it closed. Uh, and then I did some detail on the back by embroidering on like little shell uh, looking stuff. But that's just a prototype. I'll probably do a little bit more later. So I think I'm gonna do like a, um, I wanna do like a little, uh, a tail for it probably too. But I hope that helps. If, if that's not enough for you, just sit tight and wait patiently because a pattern will be out eventually. No bell. Oh, that's right. Yes, 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 yes. Alice. Good catch. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a little squeaker. I think I have one. Jimbo followed me out because he thought I was leaving him in there. But I'm not leaving him. Okay, I got this big bag of junk. It's not really junk. It's mostly yarn. But I'm pretty sure I remember putting my squeakers in here. I did. There we go. Now, I don't know if this is going to work at all, but I do have a little squeaker. See? And we're going to put it into the center of this. Oh, it looks like it's going to break, though. No, that's fine. What? Okay, so it's in the very center. It worked, it squeaked. And now let's stuff around it. I don't know if the squeaker is gonna work fully because there's so much stuffing, but we'll see. Hi, buddy. <laughs> you hear Jimbo? Hi, Jimbo. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Do you wanna come up here and say hi? Okay, obviously, come here. Oh, here's Jimbo. Do you hear him? He's purring. He's so cute. He's so fluffy. What? Where are you going now? Hi. Yes. You're very cute. I'll be able to play with you in a bit. Let me finish live streaming first. He's going to try to turn off the live stream. That's He's known for that. Yes, Jimbo is big. He's a he's a big boy. You're a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the squeaker still works in there. That's probably why Jimbo's in here. He's like, what do you want the squeaker for? Can I play with this? I'm trying to get the stuffing down to the very bottom. Yeah, yeah. You're okay, bud. You're, you're messing with the yarn, though. Oh, you're biting the yarn. Get out of here. Let it go. Leave it alone. Okay, we're almost done with this red yarn anyhow. Let me finish up this round so that Jimbo won't keep biting it. He's trying to steal it. 
And then we can just focus on stuffing it closed. Yeah. Jimbo's, or, or I mean, Jules is out at a um, baby shower right now. Normally I'd have the door closed and Jimbo would be out there. Let it go! Stop! Oh my god, he's wrapped up in it now. Get out of here, man. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god, you're too cute. Stop it. Stop being so cute. Alright. Let's keep going. Just a few more rounds here. No, don't. I can feel... Stop. <laughs> A little brat. Where'd he go? He's in the midst of everything. If he unplugs something, I am terribly sorry. He had to wake up, didn't he? All right, that's good. There we go. All right, I'm going to pick this yarn up so you can't play with it anymore. You can play with something else. Nope. Go play with something else. <laughs> Do I ever crochet toys for Jimbo? I don't need to crochet toys for Jimbo. Everything is a toy for Jimbo. He plays with everything that I have. Have I crocheted a Jimbo? Not yet. He's just so fluffy. It's really hard to crochet him. I know. It was really funny when he canceled the live stream that one time. It's funny once. <laughs> it's funny once. <laughs> I don't want it to happen again though. All right, now it is time to stuff this up and start adding the, um, what's it called? This is gonna take a second to stuff it. Toss a strawberry for Jimbo. I can toss a strawberry for Jimbo. Hey, bud. Here's the... Wait. We'll use... Yeah. Where is that big strawberry? Where'd I put it? Here it is. Here is the first strawberry that I made. Jimbo. Ready? Ready? Here we go. Go get it. He did not care. He didn't care at all. No. He just wants attention. Yes, I know you want attention. <laughs> he just keeps rubbing up against my legs. It's very cute. I gotta stuff it less at, at a time. Actually, I should use the back of this too. This part's just kind of tedious because I should have stuffed it more before I got to this round, but I didn't. Put some catnip in it. Oh my gosh, I should have. I don't know how that would work though. I think the trick with catnip is that you want to put it in when you put the stuffing in maybe? I don't really know. Oh, he went for the other strawberry. He's playing with it now. Chimbo! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to talk to you. No, come back. Don't come back. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's back. Yeah. I know. Ow! Don't! He's trying to bite my legs. He does these little love bites. They're very small. But they do not feel good. <laughs> Especially when you're not expecting them and then in the back of your leg. You're like, oh, what the heck? I've gotten a lot better at noticing when he's about to do it, though. Layer it. Yeah, yeah. I should have done it a little sooner. I think it's a little late for now. But next time. <laughs> Kelly's like, what's in the box? Oh, I hope I don't. I hope it doesn't disappoint you, Kelly. Oh, 
I don't even know if I have the catnip to do it with. He's going wild right now. He's ripping apart something. He really likes to eat yarn, but not swallow it. He just needs, likes to bite it. I know, what was that? More stuffing. Like a lot more, actually. Where's Jack Gurgle? Jack Gurgle is... Actually, where is Jack Gurgle? I don't know. Oh, he's in my box of stitch pieces, which are, which is, I put them somewhere. Where did I put those? Oh, I think they're behind this. Yes. He's hard, he's kind of hard to reach right now. Oh no, not again, not again, no lag. Again? Jimbo, what are you doing? Yeah, well, he's being a monster right now. Come on, stuffing, go. There we go. So much stuffing to do. <laughs> All right, good. We almost lost it, but we didn't. We did not lose it. He's finally back in his chair. Is he gonna chill? That's the question. Feed him fish. Oh, Michelle, I just got your email. I will send it over to you soon. After the live stream. Well, I probably will take a break after the live stream, so probably tomorrow. But I will send it over to you. Go. Oh, stuffing, you're killing me here. Yeah, he's going wild right now. Pretty much anything that can be played with can, is being played with. Why don't you go play with Phoebe? That's our other cat. We have a cat named Phoebe. What food are we planning on crocheting next? That's a great question. Drewby, what food do you think we should crochet next? Probably will be a sec, but I don't know. We got pies so far. We got strawberry milkshakes. Um, <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to kick him out soon. You're very distracting. Okay. Oh, even more. We need even more stuffing than this. Smelly cat. Oh, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Yes, yeah, we have two cats. Phoebe is quiet and secretive. She doesn't like, she just likes to nap all day. I'll show you, if you remind me at the end, I'll try to get, um, I'll try to get Phoebe in here to say hello. Okay, how are we doing stuffing wise? More stuffing down there. All the way at the bottom. You're gonna get kicked, buddy. You're gonna get kicked out of here in just a sec. 
bouncer is, is tired of your drunken ridiculousness. Finish up this stuff in here. A burger would be cool. Oh, you know what? That is, we have a burger, um, a burger alien ship that's supposed to be coming out. Honestly, it should have been out like months and months ago, but I have been slacking on it. But it will be out soon. All right, buddy, you're getting kicked. You're being too rumb rambunctious. Rumbunctious. Okay, I'm gonna do just a little bit more stuffing. Last bit though. Right for the top, right here. It's missing some. But it's almost done. Stuffing wise, at least. And then we gotta add all the seeds. Pizza Planet. Hmm. Danny, try going to clubcrochet.com slash beanie. Let me know if that works. I, I still think I need a little bit more stuffing. Last bit. What? What do you want? No. You're very cute. Nizuko is from a TV show? I didn't know that. What TV show is that name from? The next hint is going to come after I finish up the... Um, the seeds, which is the next step. We only have so many hints left, uh, and we still have a little bit more of this pattern to do because we got to do the seeds, then we got to do the top of it, and then we maybe have to do ears, cat ears, or or a beret. I think we're only going to add one additional element to this pattern, whether it's ears or or a hat or whatever. So you, it's going to be up to you guys to choose that. But we'll do that last. I think cat ears would be really, really cute, though. Are we sure we feel like this is stuffed up enough? Yeah, that's good. It's good. It's good. Just pull it tight and hide the end like that. And then cut it. Get this out of the way. And then let's kick Jimbo out of here. <laughs> Jimbo. Yeah. Say bye. Bye. Maybe we'll see you at the end of the live stream. But you're too annoying right now. Yeah. Alright. Now that we have that rambunctious little child out of here. Let's add, <laughs> let's add um, seeds. Let's add some seeds. Hey, thank you for subscribing, whoever that was. Samantha, thank you, Samantha. If you're not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Go subscribe. What are you doing even? All right, let's add seeds. I have a special way to do this. I don't think this is gonna be enough yellow. We might need more. Um, where did I put the yellow? You know, I'm going to grab this yellow instead. Because this needs to be the same color yellow. Oh, it is. Okay. We're good. All right. Seeds. Um, I'm going to start at the very bottom. Then I'm just going to go up the back. one and then skip I 
think. I'm going to skip around, skip around, and then go up one. So skip one, skip two, up to there. I think that's right, because each round... Actually, I think I'm going to skip even one more, because each round... So I'll do one right there. You know what? Yeah, we need to do need to skip one more. Like that. And then up one. One, two. Yeah, we're gonna try this. We're trying it. Let's see how it works. Right, so one, two. Okay, wait, one, two, three, four is what we actually want. Hmm. That might be too much, but we'll find out. Uh, Danny J, it brings me to page and final project. Brings you to a page that says pattern final project classic beanie and asks for a comment and then it says the top. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the right page. Hold on. I think you're at the right page, though. I think if you just hit start pattern, it should just take you, scroll you straight back down to get the started in the pattern. But I'll, I'll test it out in just a second. One, two, three. How much higher do we want to go with these? I don't think we want to go any higher than this. Well, okay, we do want to go one higher. We'll go right here. All right, this is the round we're going to start our things on. So, one, two, three, four, five. Right there. Is that correct? I really should do six. Do six. Okay. Boom. Six would be right there. One, two, three, four. Actually, that this is six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's six. Yeah. Go up to. Do you want to go up there or let's go up this way? Six. Up a stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then up a stitch. So you can see how this is going to be a little uh, tedious. <laughs> Elena, your fingers are red. What kind of yarn are you using that makes your fingers red? The good thing is, once we get started here on these, uh, it's just kind of a little bit mindless. You just kind of find good spots for it. And actually, that's probably it. It's probably a good start. Okay. So then down I go one, two, let's go down three, like this. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Like that. Oh, dude, Ernesta, thank you so much for your thank you. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad I could help inspire more crochet. That is definitely the goal. So that's really cool. It is. It has. It has worked. Uh, 
Your ears are red because you've been wearing headphones. My ears don't really get red when I wear head. Well, I guess th I guess they do if I wear them for like a super duper duper long time. But I usually don't wear them for that long, you know. Look at all this fuzz coming out. Like half of the stuffing that we're gonna stuff with is gonna start poking out when we're doing this, but. Oh well, we'll just have to clean it up. Um, okay, down here. Keep going. Right, because we want one solid gap in between. One, and then this one will be it, yep. Little pieces of stuffing are everywhere. My lungs are probably filled with stuffing. Ooh, that's a weird thing to think about. See you later, Blue Animations. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you in. I hope you have a good time with your um, video, whatever you're making. Uh, I think I'm gonna skip right here for the face stuff. So like, normally I put one right here and one right here but i think it looked like they have it has eyebrows then and uh that doesn't really make any sense so we're just gonna go turn around and we're gonna go back the other way we're gonna skip the face part and run under and then right here there Yeah. We'll go over to here. Wait. Right there. Right there. Skip around right here. Whew! Given some space next to the face. Actually, I think maybe we could do right here. That's just a little far enough away from the face to be like kind of cute. Like it's maybe it's got like a freckle. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then we'll come back around. Skip around. Go right there. This is fine. <laughs> right there? Yeah. Nezuko. Your name is fun to say. Nezuko. These seeds are coming together though. That looks pretty, it's looking pretty good. I like to make it more sporadic, uh, more like sparse of seeds than than like too many of the same place over and over seeds. Um, we're gonna go right under the mouth for this next seed. Boom. Now it'll look really centered too, which will be nice. Go right under the cheekish, like right here. And then we'll 
go down here. Skip around. Skip around. Your pink strawberry looks just like a chin right now. <laughs> the crimson chin. Who knows what the crimson chin is from? I might be I might be aging myself by saying the crimson chin, but I don't know. Maybe not. Anybody know what the crimson chin is from? I'm sure someone does. You're back, Blue Animation! Wow, that was fast. That was quick. You're such a fast animator. <laughs> What'd you, what, what are you going to work on? Tessalarian, hello! <clears throat> How is Jules? Jules is good. She is at a baby shower right now. Um, a friend of hers... Uh, a knitting friend of hers is having a their first bebe um, and invited her to a to her baby shower at a yarn store so she's went to a yarn store I'm sure she'll buy some yarn that she probably doesn't need <laughs> as Jules likes to do but that's fine we all we all spend money on things we don't need sometimes oops me for me that's video games. I spend too much money on video games, I think. Okay, just about done here. Just a few more stitches. Let's see, is there anywhere that we really missed with our seeds? Not really. I think it looks pretty good. Right? It's pretty covered in seeds. I think this is going to be our last one, then. We're going to go up and then out. Like that. And then I'll just double knot it. Wow, I didn't need more yellow. I thought I for sure was going to need more yellow, but nope. Who's this Animal Crossing music? I love Animal Crossing music. <laughs> yeah, Mickey Cricky, absolutely. Buying yarn and using them are two different hobbies. <laughs> that is accurate. And Jules definitely, uh, she does both. <laughs> She does both at different times. I'm going to use this little skewer to help stuff in the bottom of this knot. The needle just wasn't working for me. Okay, now let's squish it a bunch. Make sure everything's just right. And we got our seeds done. Let's go and pick out all this excess stuffing. Put it into our lungs. That way we can get some nice cancer or something. I don't know. All right. pretty good though all right it's squeaky it's a squeaky strawberry little cat ears are you kidding me oh my god cat ears would be really cute okay pokemon snap music that's a good idea that's a good idea that's a good idea let's have some coffee and then do another hint okay this hint might give it away. So, this is hint number four. Um, again, we're doing the giveaway. So if you are new here, uh, enter the giveaway by clicking the link. I'm gonna put the link in the chat again. All you have to do is guess what is in this box. It is a crochet pattern from the Club Crochet Library. And uh, the following are hints for it. So far we have the number of stitches used in this pattern is 216. The number of colors used is four, four different colors. Uh, hint number three, the category that it's in is pod person. And then for our fourth hint, our second to last hint. Hold on, let me make this bigger. Like this. Okay. Corner text. Our fourth hint is, well, first off, let me copy this, put it in the chat. Uh, our fourth hint is the uh, a, uh, a key word. So the hint is a key word. Boom. There we go. And the key word is really just a sound, and it's snap. The key word is snap. 
That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good hint, I think. Once you see it, you're gonna be like, oh, oh, I get it. Um, yeah. So there's your guesses. Uh, guess on the form. I'm gonna look if anybody's got it right. Uh, for first, but I'm not gonna tell you if anybody got it right. Okay. Okay. I'm not telling you who, if anybody got it right. There we go. How do I? Okay. All right, back to it. Let's do the uh, leaf on top of the strawberry. Oh, some people think they know what it is. Ooh, some people think they know what it is. Um, I can't give away. I can't look at you guys. Ugh, I can't look. Uh, next up, we're making the leaf for the top of our strawberry. Now, this part uh, is... I'm going to go a little bit slower when it gets to the um, the end of this part because uh, Dan, uh, da is it David or Daniel? Uh, hold on. I can't remember. It's, it's Danny. Danny needs some extra help with part of it. So I'm going to go a little slower and we get a little bit further along for this part. Uh, but let's just get started. Um, oh, also, I guess we should check to see if there's any Club Crochet members. Nope, no new memberships. That's okay. We've got a bunch of members, so that's all good. Tom for the Calyx. Yes, that is what this is called. Truby has has taught us a new word. Uh, by the way, like this video. If this video gets over 350 likes, I'm going to do another giveaway next live stream. And currently we are at 311 likes. So it's almost there. It's almost there. The calyx is actually not too crazy uh, until you get to the to the leaves. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, Nazuko, sayonara, arigato, jane, all that stuff fun. Stuff fun. One, two, three. Four. <laughs> My brain had a fart there. Uh, any news on when the pin club is going to start? Uh, I think we're going to have to start that next year because I just need a lot more designs to do the pin club. But that is a great question. Thanks for asking, Mickey. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I actually haven't even reached out to the designer yet to help get started on designing all the different stuff. Um, but the idea is going to be it's going to be uh, pins that are either based on crochet um, or they're based on like, so they're like yarn balls with little words, or it's going to be based on patterns from the library. So it might be like a little, like maybe some new burbs pins, uh, maybe some of these little Bonneville dudes or a little octopi, or I want to do one that's Yancey the Yeti, um, stuff like that. Maybe even like a strawberry, like just cute things that are already crochet patterns. Uh, if you got any ideas for pins, now is the time to uh, let me know. Mickey, I think you technically will already be part of the pin club. I think with a pro membership, it's going to come with the pin club, which is why I need like a year to figure it out because like, yeah, there's just, there's just a lot going on right now. <laughs> Kelly, Green Beret, well, we're going to vote on it. So we're going to choose between... I'm going to need your advice on what extra addition we're going to add to the strawberry. We're either going to do a, a hat or little cat ears or something like that. So I think it'd be really fun to do cat ears, but we'll see. Uh-oh, Lorelai is lost. Where are you lost, Lorelai? How can I help? All right, that's going to be the end of that round actually 
the end of that round was two stitches ago. Okay, round five. All right, so we're still getting there. Danny, you still around? Hopefully you're still around. Oh, a Jack Gurgle and a Jimbo pin is yes, that will happen. Great idea, great idea. Yes, pride pins will be uh, actually coming out in June. We have some pride pins coming out. Um, yeah. I, yes, definitely a Jack Gurgle pin. Ooh. Ooh. Llama Play says they think they know who the... The, what the crocheted piece in the in the giveaway is okay one and two um, I'm gonna get to the part where it's like gets a little bit trickier with the leaf and then uh, I'm gonna drink some coffee I could use some coffee right now drew made it back yeah, Drew, we're gonna we're gonna be making we're also gonna be adding something to it, um, either a hat or some cat ears. I'm not totally sure yet. Um, suggestions, suggestions. Now we need four suggestions. So far, we got a beret, cat ears. What are some other ideas of things that we could add to this to make it really cute? Um, we could do a bow, like a little bow in in in, in her hair, maybe. Uh, we've got. We could do like a chef hat, maybe. 85 people in here. Wow, wow, wee wow. Hello, everybody that is watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, you know the dealio. You should go subscribe. One, two, three, and four. Yes, we only have one more hint left for the giveaway, so time is running short. A little pause. Oh. A no you hang up pin. Oh, that's a great idea, Zoe. Man, I should write these down. Oh, bunny ears would be cute. You don't know what snap is supposed to mean. Well, that's okay. You're not supposed to, kind of, but you are. It's like it's supposed to be a little bit vague. One, two, four. Okay, Danny, uh, we are about to be on the round that you need, so pay attention, bub. Um, the next round is going to be the leaves, and I'm going to do, uh, even though I have a video tutorial where I explain this, I am going to do a little bit more explanation here. Um, for Danny's sake, because he got a little lost in this part, at least for the start of this. Okay, so we are on to round eight of the calyx, or the uh, leaves, on top of your strawberry. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and show you how to do this round, because this round is a little trickier. It's of the trickier ones. There we go, that's in focus, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so Danny, here we go. This is how it's going to work. Um, we are going to start by uh, skipping a stitch. So you want to skip a stitch. Normally we work into this stitch. That's our next one. But we want to work into this one, which is the stitch after it. We're skipping one. So this part of the pattern is a repeat. We're going to be repeating this process six times total. And the repeat is this. Skip a stitch and then double crochet two into this next stitch. Double crochet, you yarn over. You go into the stitch. Again, we're skipping one, so we're going into this one right here. Yarn over again and pull through. Yarn over. Oops, there we go. And pull through two loops on the hook. One and two. And then yarn over again and pull through two loops on the hook. And that's a double crochet. So you want to do two of those in the same stitch. There's one. Let's do another one. Yarn over into the same stitch right here. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over. Pull through just two of these loops. One, two. Yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. One, two. Okay, so there's skip a stitch, two double crochet in the same stitch. Now we're gonna do a picot. For a picot, we chain three. One, two, 
three. We skip our first two chains and work into the back loop of the third chain from the hook. That's actually just gonna be this little part right here in the back of your stitch. So this is the top. I wanna go right here in the back right there. And we're gonna do a slip stitch into that spot. Take your crochet hook, go in there. And I usually like to use my nail to help pry the crochet hook under that loop. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch. For a slip stitch, we yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on the hook like that. Okay, so two double crochets in the same stitch, a picot like that, and then two more double crochets into the same stitch that you put the first two double crochets into. So we yarn over, we go into the same stitch that we're working into right here, yarn over again and pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, one, two, Yarn over again and pull through the last two. One, two. There's our first of our two double crochets. Let's do another one into the same stitch. This is gonna be our fourth double crochet in the same exact stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Pull through two, one, two. Yarn over and pull through the last two, one, two. Okay, and then the last part of this repeat is um, we skip one stitch. So not this stitch, but the stitch after right here. And we do a slip stitch. We go into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on the hook like that. Okay, Danny, that is the trick. You need to do that exact process six times total. So I'll just get started on the next one and then I'll zoom out. Um, we skip a stitch and then do two double crochets into the next one. Right here, two double crochets. There's one double crochet, another one into the same spot and then a picot, so we chain three. Two, three. Yeah, picot's confusing. Uh, I usually just use mini picots, which are kind of like the same thing, but a little smaller. And then two in the same stitch. One, two, one, two. And then we skip a stitch and slip stitch. There we go, and that's the repeat. And at the end, we're gonna get to the very start right here and then slip stitch cut pull through and then sew it onto the top of our stripper of our stripper bye iris thanks for joining dude angelica you absolutely should and can learn to crochet 100% uh, go learn it is the best thing that you're gonna do ever <laughs> it's, it's really cool it's a really cool tech, like thing you can do I mean think about it you can make toys you can make blankets you can make hats you can make uh, tools you could make tools you could make honestly dude you can make anything with crochet it is a very, very versatile art form. <laughs> go big or go home with peacocks and everything else. <laughs> Especially when you're making leaves like this. Yeah, I, I would agree with you on this one, Druby. But normally, I like to make little tidy things like myself. I'm a tiny thing. I'm just a tiny person. <laughs> Llama Plays has a hunch there's going to be a giveaway next live stream too. Maybe. We'll see. You know, this video needs to get 350 likes. I don't know if it's going to make it. It'll probably make it. Uh, let me see. Let me look at what the next giveaway is actually. I mean, not the next giveaway. The next live stream. Because I have it written down. Oh, it's Pokemon Day. Next... Sunday is Pokemon Day. Well, actually, the day after is Pokemon Day. So we're going to crochet some Pokemon. Jimbo wants in, but he can't be in. Oh, dude. Oh, you learned how to crochet off YouTube because I'm a lefty. Thank you. You're welcome, Katana. Um, yes, I got to redo, I want to redo Crocheting 101 to be lefty accessible as well. I got, I got a lot of, I got a lot of things I want to do. Skip, and then right here. So this is going to be the last of the leaves, and then we're going to do a vote. 
as I sew this onto the um, to the head. You guys can help me decide. So what was our choices? We got chef hat. Did someone say uh, we got the beret? <laughs> can you hear? Can you hear Jimbo trying to get in right now? He's like clawing at the door. Get two and slip stitch one. Then we're gonna get a lot of extra yarns to sew it on and pull it through. Okay, so we're gonna sew this onto the head, but before we put this onto there, let us um, do a vote. It's time to do a vote. So our choices are between what should we add to the strawberry? We got cat ears. Um, we got a uh, beret. How do I spell beret? Oh, there, there you go. I got it. Uh, chef hat. Um, we could do top hat. Uh, okay, we got one more. One more. Can we do one more? I don't know if I can do one more. Can I, I really only do four options? Okay, whatever. Top hat it is. All right, so these are your choices. Oh, Drew B, see you later. Thanks for joining, my dude. This has been a lot of fun. Next time you're going to be in the live stream with me. Okay, so one of these options, you vote. Wow. Oh my gosh, that happened real quick. Okay, so f while you guys are voting on that, I'm gonna sew this onto the top of our strawberry, which is actually a super easy sewing job. You just gotta go into the very tip top. We're just going to find where the center is. You got to love this song. Stay excellent. You too. You are excellent. Stay that way or else. I think right there is a good spot. Go check out Drewby Zoo. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel too. I think you can just click it into his channel right there and subscribe. And then you'll start to see things that he makes when he finally comes out with videos. Because I'm pretty sure this is the, that's the same channel that he's commenting on that he's going to be using. So... Maybe he'll have a few subscribers before he even starts. That would be pretty cool. I'll go right there. Okay. Oh my gosh, Jimbo is yowling like a like a werewolf or something. Yo! He just wants a friend. Don't worry, Jimbo. We're almost done, and then we can be friends. We can cuddle and whatever. He always freaks out. He is he's such a lonely boy. What do the hints mean? Great question, Elias. Good timing, too. So the hints are for a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway right now. Um, if you get... Uh, you have to guess what is in this box that's in the corner of this, the video right now. Right here. See how I have that box right there? Wait, let me see. Let me show you. There you go. So that box right here, we're guessing what's in that box. And if you get it right first, you win $20. If you get it right after that, um, but you weren't first, you still win 5 bucks uh, to the Club Crochet store. The hints at the top are for uh, how you can, uh, are, are for what's in there. So hint number one was how many stitches are in the 
um, pattern. It's a pattern from my library, clubcrochet.com. So if you go to clubcrochet.com slash browse, you can browse through all of my patterns and it's gonna be one of those. Um, hint number one was how many stitches. Hint number two was the colors that are used in the pattern. Hint number three was, what was hint number three, guys? Hint number three was, uh, oh, the category. It's called a pod person. They're like little, like this is a pod person. They're kind of like little people that are made without any sewing. And then uh, hit number four was a keyword, which was snap. Okay. Double knot. Put it close. All right. So what did you guys choose? What are we adding to this guy or to this strawberry? We've got our, I mean, the strawberry's done. Okay, so this is it. This is the strawberry done. But now we want to add something new. Maybe ears, who knows? Let's see, what was the vote? We need to end it. End the poll. What are we making, guys? Oh, cat ears by a long shot. Okay, cat ears it is. I think for the cat ears, I'm gonna use the pattern for um, from this. So I think what we'll do for the cat ears is we're gonna use, where is it? Hold on. Ah, there we go. I think we're gonna use this pattern for the ears um, from from our, uh, our last collaboration pattern for the reversible corgi, which is also a free pattern. You can find it online. I think you can just go to clubcrochet.com slash corgi. Um, but, oh no, that's not the pattern. Hold on. Let me find it real quick. There it is. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're gonna do that pattern. Uh, and we need a coffee. Yes, there will be a fifth hint that will, you'll only have a minute. Between the last hint and guessing, you're only gonna have a very, very short amount of time because the last hint gives it away. So it'll be like a quick little like hint, guess. Okay, winner. Okay, so we're on to, uh, we're making ears. We're making ears. I think this these ears will work. I might make them a little smaller. One, two, three. Six. Like we might do tinier cat ears, but let's let's see how let's see how these work. Well, that's okay. You know what? That's okay, Llama Plays. You know exactly who it is. But next week, we'll, we'll probably be doing another li another giveaway next week. Oops. Okay. Next round goes up to 12. I think we might stop at 15. Come on. Let's see. Let's see how let's see how these ears look. One, two. Three, four. Okay. See how do these ones go? I mean, those are pretty cute, but let's go a little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, Jiminy, you're gonna be fine. One, two, three. All right, Danny. Thank you so much for joining, and you're very welcome. Thank you for your uh, thank you for the tip, by the way, Danny. I really appreciate that. You help, you help me stay alive and fed. Um, 
Um, okay, one more here. One, two. <laughs> five, okay. Let's see, how how is this for the ear? Like that? Too small still? I mean, actually, that's that's pretty cute. We could go one more big. One more big. Let's try one more big. One, two. Four. Six. Yes, you guys will be able to, uh, we're gonna crochet next week. We're gonna do Pokemon day and we're gonna crochet um, uh, one of the starters from Pokemon that are actually patterns in my library and I haven't made them in like four years. So it'll definitely be a, uh, like a learning experience for me <laughs> to relook at my old patterns. Okay, five and six. All right, let's see how this one looks. We're probably gonna have to do one more round here. But actually that's, that's pretty cute. Needs to be higher. It needs to be like right there, huh? Do we like it that, like that, or do we want to go one more round to make it taller, just a little bit? I mean, let's see. If we don't like it, we pull out the stitches, and that's fine too. We're gonna, I think we're gonna do, yep, yep, exactly what you said, Foster. I think I'm gonna do yellow for the inside of the ears instead of pink. But I do have an idea on how to do that. Three, four, five, six. One more round of that. One. And six. All right, let's see how this looks. Okay, so it's gonna be like slightly curved in like that, right? And be right like this. Oh man, that's, yeah. That's gonna be pretty cute. That's a, uh, yeah, I, I think that's gonna be pretty great. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty cute. Okay, so we need to make another one of these and see how it's gonna be curved in slightly. I think that's the only way it's gonna work with the curve that I have. Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. This could be a total disaster, but it's okay. If something's a disaster, that's all right too. You can always undo it. That's the beauty of crochet. Oopsies. Hit the hit the camera. If you buy the kit for this, um you will probably have enough yarn to also make these cat ears if you want to. Um it comes with a lot of extra yarn. Because it's a beginner kit, so it's like you have to like learn how to crochet too. I don't think we're gonna add pause, Kelly. Just because uh, it's been a quite a long live stream, we're going on. Let's see how. Yeah, it's already three hours, <clears throat> and my voice is getting tired. And my legs are getting tired. I'm just a tired boy. So I don't think we're gonna be adding pause today. One, two, three, four, five, six. But we can add whiskers. We can add whiskers. One, two. That because that'll be quick, pretty easy. But pause would be kind of tough. <laughs> Yay! I'm sorry, Kelly. But, you know, we're doing a lot here. I know we didn't make your beret, though. I'm sorry we didn't make the beret. Next time. We will do a beret next time. Okay. Keep Let's keep on keeping on. 
We only have 11 more likes to get to uh, 350 for another giveaway next live stream, by the way. So if you haven't liked yet, you should probably like this video. That would be cool. Oh, that would have been cute to somehow make the seeds shaped like paws. I don't know how I would do that, but I like that idea. One. Look at me. I'm freaking flying, by the way. I realized I haven't eaten yet today either. I forgot to eat. I hate when I do that. Hi, Blue Animation. You're back again. Five and six. All right, coming to the end. And after I sew these on, I will do, um, well, actually, let's see how long it takes to sew. Well, no, yeah. After we sew these on, I will, um, we'll do the, the last hint of the giveaway and, and announce a winner. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, last round. It's all single crochets from here on. Two, three, four, five, and six. Look at me. High speed, high speed crochet, speed running the crochet. I even have extra yarn. I could even do another ear if I wanted. Okay, next up, we want to sew these ears onto the top. This might be a little tricky. We'll have to figure it out. Um, so the first thing we want to do is thread the inside, find where we want it. So I think it's about like right like that. I mean, I guess we can have it like a little bit out like this. I like it curved though. I like it curved in, you know? I'm gonna go right here. Come out, actually we're gonna come out somewhere near the top. So that's where the inside of the ear is going to go. We're going to curve it a little bit like that. All right? Because that's pretty cute. Maybe we'll do like the... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Am I going to make this more difficult for myself? I might. Okay. More difficult for the cuteness is is usually a good move though, because because yeah okay so we're gonna start right here right like that, that. What's important is that it's the same on each side. So as long as we make this first side not too bad, the second will be a lot easier. But I might not be able to look at this chat for a sec. Well, I guess I can between stitches here.
Ah, uh, if you just joined the chat, you'd feel like, uh, what are you doing to this poor strawberry? Yeah, I get that. I get that. It does look a little weird, huh? But once we add the, the center of the ears with, in yellow, I think it'll look really, um, like, it'll be very clear that it's a cat, especially when we add whiskers. I'm just consistently like checking to make sure it looks the way we want it to. No, 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 we need to go further back. Th thank you. Nezuko, I thought you were heading out. I was thinking, though, this is very kawaii. <laughs> Nezuko's gonna think, oh my gosh, this is very kawaii. Totemo kawaii desu. Totemo kawaii desu ne? Oh, I guess we got to two, 350. Sounds like we're doing another giveaway next week. Oh boy, what should we give away next week? It's a Pokemon week, so uh, hmm. we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out then. Okay, now we're just gonna sew it back up. But look, that's gonna be pretty cute, right? Cute little crocheted cat ears. We'll do it on the other side too, oops. A cat tail would be cute, but oh well, too late. We're not doing a cat tail. I don't have the time. There's not enough time. Okay, how many stitches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So one, two. All right, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna go out a little bit on the back of the ear. Which means I might wanna stuff the ear a little, do I? Maybe not. We're gonna cover up one of the seeds. Oh well. Do I, well. No, I don't think I do, because ears are flat. Ears are not poofy, they're flat. Okay, how many stitches left? One, two, three, four, and then boom. One, two. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I might need to do something tricky here at the top. I think we got one more stitch than we need. You know? Yeah, we do. Okay, that's okay. I'm just gonna do it into both of these ones. And we'll just have to remember to do that on the other side too. One cat ear sewn on. Of course, we need to add um, add a uh, some some you know the inside of the ear still, but the sewing part is done, which is the more annoying of the two. Okay. We're 
almost done with this. If you're still here and you're like, man, this guy's taking forever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just needed to add cat ears. I mean, geez. Okay. Next year. Why does this one look so much smaller? It's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, so how many stitches away did I do it? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like like five-ish, so. Somewhere around like right there, maybe? This is going to be so cute. Strawberry kitty. The cat that meows back. Wait. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm getting a, I'm getting too obsessed with my crochet here. It's always dangerous to get to like your crochet too much. Because you're like, ooh, I don't ever want to let it go. Right up here? I'm actually going to go... No, one more higher. Right there, and then I'm going to start going down. Okay. Okay. And the back, uh, so we got to start with the back of the ear instead of going the front of the ear, which means we need to make the back of the ear go out a little bit. And make the front of the ear more straight, which is what we did on the other ear. We need a strawberry cat pattern now. I mean, you have it. Like the strawberry pattern and then just use the ears of the um, of the reversible corgi and you're good. That's a, that's a, literally exactly what I did. Use the ears of the reversible corgi and uh, the body is the strawberry, obviously. So it, it's actually not too tricky to to customize it with that. How far down do we go with the ears here? Let's see. Into the same round of the eyes. Okay, so we got actually a few rounds to go down. So you wanna go down to here, okay. That's fine. Good thing I noticed. That would have been bad. One more round down. Okay. That. Okay, let's look at how we're doing so far. So far, so good. Oh my god, it's gonna be so cute when we add a little um, tail. <laughs> I know. Bobby is like, it needs ears and it needs a paws and the tail i mean listen i don't disagree with you i just know how much more work it's going to be to add tail and paws right now i just i don't know if i want to i don't know if i want to deal with that is this gonna be too close to the face eh, no it's fine in in on the ears in on the ears Oh, yes, try that. Yeah, try what Llama Play says. Use the feet for Yancey the Yeti. That would actually be a super good idea.
Coming together. Come together. Right now. Okay. How many more stitches here? One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, we might need to do that. Oh, that's right. We do need to do that double thing. So go in here, out there. So we got, yeah, perfect. Just do that double thing here. In, out through the same stitch we started. And then we'll double knot it. Okay. Now here's the deal I'm gonna make with you guys. Boop, boop, boop. I am going to give you the last hint for our giveaway. And while you guys are entering that giveaway, I uh, am going to go as fast as I can to add the detail on the inside of the ears, to add like um, the embroidery part on the inside of the ears. And that way I'll give you like, you'll have like three or four minutes to and to guess one last time what is in the gift box. And then after that, I will choose a winner. That sound like a fair deal to you? I think that sounds like a fair deal to me. I'm gonna get the yarn red, uh, prepared though. Cause this will, this is gonna give it away. This is for sure gonna give it away. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay. All right, last hint for the giveaway. First off, I'm gonna get this yarn off the ground. It just keeps sticking on my feet and it's weird. When I say your name, it scares you. Blue animation. <laughs> All right, let's get this yarn prepped. Okay, last hint, last hint. And you know what? I'm not even gonna put it on the screen. I'm not even putting it on the screen. I'm gonna put the guess in the, here we go. Oopsies. And the reason I'm not gonna put it on the screen is because there's not any like room on the screen anymore. But also I wanna make it as tricky as possible. Okay, so the guess thing is in the chat and again, your last hint, let's go through it again. You're guessing what is in this using the link that's in the chat and in the description below. First one to get it right gets $20. Anybody that gets it right after there gets $5 to the Club Crochet store. You can use that to purchase kits or patterns or stickers or merch, whatever you want. By the way, check out this merch. I got, I got, I'm wearing, I'm wearing one of my merches right now, my t-shirt. Okay, the first hint was, it's a pattern from the Club Crochet library and it has 216 stitches in it. It uses four colors in the pattern. It, uh, the category is pod person. The first keyword is snap. And then for the last hint, uh, you're going to wait until I open the box. I'm going to make it so you can't guess after I finish these ears and then I'm going to open the box. So guess before I open it. Um, the last hint is another keyword and the keyword is Avenger. Keyword is Avenger. Guess what it is? Jimbo really wants to get in here. And I'm gonna make these ears as you guess. I know you are, Jimbo. We're almost done. It's like, please. No, 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 I don't like it there. Let's go up one right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go quick, ish. Not like too fast, but fast enough. Oh my gosh, he's such a crying baby, Jimbo. Yeah, he's like, Meh, please. You know what, I messed this up. Oh.
Oh my gosh, I gotta go quicker. Gotta go quicker! Quicklier, quicklier, Louie! So this is what I'm thinking about for the ears, is we're gonna go like... Up here. Like this. Right? What do we think about that? <laughs> I think that's pretty cute. I'm gonna double it up, but I think that's pretty cute. Simple, but cute. Right? It's like, maybe it's a little tiny for the inside of the ears. Maybe it should go out and further. Up higher. Eh, whatever. I like it. Doubling it up will help also. <laughs> Hurry up, Louie. I need to know if I'm right. I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Going. Jimbo, Jimbo's also like, hurry up, I wanna play. I wanna hang out with you. Going, Jimbo, going. Okay. Boom. And, uh... Come on, there we go. Okay, one ear done. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Jules is gonna come home and she's gonna be like, what'd you make? And I'm gonna be like, check it out. She's gonna love it. Jimbo's like actively losing his shit out there. Oop, sorry. Pardon my French. All right. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go up. I want to make sure this is in the same round, which is going to be like right there. All right, to e, e, here, right? Okay. Hold on, buddy. Up one. Watch it, Louie goes even slower. Yeah, uh, here, you want to slow me down right now? Uh, you should donate. Oh, shoot, there was a new member, actually, Night Fury. I think. Let me see. Let me make sure that was new, new. New, new. Yes, there was. Actually. Yes. Okay, hold on. There was a new Club Crochet member. So I do need to do a donation first, which slows me down a little bit, but that's okay. That's an okay slowdown. Let me finish this first wave of doing the ears, and then I'll get to the, to the donation. Then I'll finish the air. Da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> you want to name this Jimbo? That's funny. Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Thank you so much to Night Fury for becoming a Club Crochet member. I'm going to pull out this little frog for you. Oh no, all the other member ones are falling. Like that. Okay. He's gonna go on top of this guy, right? No, wait, you can't see that. He's gonna go on top of the turtle. 
Oh no, then I cover up that. He's gonna go in front of the there. That's that's where he's gonna go. Thank you for your uh, becoming a club crochet member. There were two new ones. That's what Alice says. Okay. I actually do believe you, Alice. I'm gonna put out a. Um. Uh. Oh, I know. I'll put the fox out. Another bonimal that's coming out. A little tiny fox. I'll put the fox right here. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. On, almost done. I think we should. What do you think? Do you think we should do the whiskers in yellow or pink? I mean, or, or white. Yellow, whiskers in yellow or white. I'm thinking maybe we should do the whiskers in like a thread instead of a yellow, instead of an actual yarn. But, I don't know. Okay, here is done. Legitimately? It smells like, it smells like strawberries in here right now. And maybe it's just like my brain, but oh, oh, it's because I was, it, you know what? It, it actually does smell like strawberries in here because I was eating strawberry yogurt right before the live stream and I didn't finish it. So I have strawberry yogurt in here making this whole room smell like a strawberry. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yellow, yellow, white, white. Okay. All right. I will add the whiskers in just a second. Look at how freaking cute that is though. But before I add the whiskers, let us do, welcome Audrey, welcome to the live stream. Um, uh, before I do that, we are going to uh, show you, we're gonna finish the giveaway. So, it's time. All right, last chance to guess, three, two, one responses are closed. Okay. I'm going to export this to a sheet so I can choose, figure out who won it. Because it orders it by time. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was early. Wow. Ooh, I tricked, I tricked some of you. Um, okay, well, the winner got it in the first hour, I think. They got it right. Okay, what is in the box? The answers, or the questions, the hints were, number of stitches, 216, colors used, four, Category was a pod person. Hint number one was snap. And hint number two was Avenger, which was a very important hint because the answer, the, the crochet that was in the box was, oh, look at it. You can see his top of his head. Ba -ba -da -ba. Iron Man. It was Iron Man all along. You thought it was Thanos. Some people thought it was Thanos, but the trick was Thanos is way more stitches than 216. Thanos is a big boy. Hey, let me show you. Thanos was... Where, I think I have Thanos in here somewhere. I don't know where he is. But he's honky. He's a honky boy. Well, I don't know where he is. There's a Thanos in here somewhere. And he is much thicker than this little tiny Iron Man. And the winner, by the way, the winner was Kelly the Crocheter. Kelly the Crocheter wins. I know you're, I think you're still in the chat. Kelly, is that, I think that's you, Kelly, in the chat. Who wins? Yes, it definitely is, Kelly. You won, Kelly. Congratulations. You win $20 to the Club Crochet store. You were right so early on. How did you get it right so fast, Kelly? I don't know how you did that. But you did win. Congratulations. <laughs> what? What? Congratulations. You win $20 to the Club Crochet store, which means you win. Uh, you can get a kit. You can get a membership. 
you could get um man you could get a lot of you could get a lot of different stuff with that congratulations kelly i'm super happy with you i'm i'm happy you're still here too uh that's really cool all right we're gonna do whiskers now to finish this up and i think we're gonna go with white thread because i think it'll look better it'll look more whiskery because it'll be thinner than the yellow yarn we'll try it out let's try the white thread first Yeah, I knew I knew I'd I knew I'd uh trick some people with Thanos because of the snap. But Thanos uses way more colors of yarn because you have to have all the colors in the in the you know, the hand. Kelly, I'm so glad you won it. Congratulations again. Alright, now how are we gonna do whiskers here? Whiskers would be like right like here maybe. Or I guess whiskers you know what? Maybe the whiskers should go instead of the cheeks. You know? Like here, we do whisker, whisker, whisker instead of the cheek. Let's see. How would that look? So we go like this. And up here. Because look, wouldn't that be cuter than the cheek? Yeah, you know what? I'm making an executive decision. I'm taking the cheeks out. I'm sorry, cheeks. You're very cute. But you must be replaced with whiskers now. Boom. Easy. Easy to remove it. Try to go like right in between this stitch. Right? Isn't this cuter? I think that's cuter. Please tell me it's cuter. I think it is. Let's try right here actually. Let's see how that looks. Dude, Cat F Crafts, thank you so much for your donation. You rock. Hold on, let me put something out for you. Just a second. I actually think I could do better on the whiskers. We're going to try this again. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, Cat, thank you for your donation. We're going to put out something bigger for you. We're gonna go with We're gonna go with Gosh, I wish I had Thanos. I would put out Thanos for you. Oh wait, what's this? Is this a leg for it? Oh, check this out. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is just for you, Kat. Because you're just a wonderful person. We've got a big old Iron Man to put on out in the screen. And he's got little, um, look, snap. Oh my God, he's got snaps. <laughs> he's got snaps that attach all the arms. I do not have a pattern for this because it's like an actual action figure. But look, the arms and legs all can come off and snap back on. So we'll go ahead and put the little Iron Man in the lap of a big Iron Man. And this is to thank you, Cat. Thank you for your donation. Okay, let's keep adding these whiskers. Maybe if all the whiskers, like all the stitches for the whiskers come out of the same spot. Let's try that. So if like they all come out of right there. Might not be far enough for our first whisker, but we'll try it. One stitch down.
Okay, what do we think about that for the whisker? Is that too small? No, that's really cute. Maybe we should go longer with it though. Okay, one more try. I'm just gonna stop. Nope, 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 not the other way around. Yes. There we go. Okay, we're gonna go a little longer with these whiskers. Make them longer, yes, agreed. Okay. How is that? Well, everything but this whisker is good, I think. So we gotta fix this one. Your sister is actually Thanos, so it's so funny. Cool. In and then out. See how this one looks. Oops. I think that's pretty good. I mean, it'd probably be better if the whiskers were just loose, but. Do you think it sh the whiskers should be over more? Gosh, I'm having a hard time making decisions on these whiskers, on the whisker front. No, no, I think this is good. I think I'm going to call it there. So now we just need to make both of them this, this way. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. I will show Tina's giraffe as well. Let me finish this up, though. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, next whisker, just under the eye. Oh, first we need to remove this. And then we can add that. Just under the eye, starting like right, actually like right there. Up and out. Okay. And it went like all the way to the other side of the eye, right? Yeah. Was that too many? No, that's good. Out the same spot. There's one. I keep losing my yarn, my thread. Uh, Angel, what are all the dudes in the back? These are all donations or people becoming Club Crochet members. If you would like to donate, uh, now is your chance. And I'll put something out there, and it will be permanently in this live stream. Everybody will know that you are a good human being that helps support a little tiny crochet channel. And then right here, I think, is the last one. Then out... A little tighter. Whiskers are everything. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. 
Oh my god, this is so cute. This has got to be one of the cutest live stream crochets that we've done in a long time. <laughs> I guess I kind of say that every time, but seriously, this one is really cute. Big fan. Cut it. Stuff it in. All right. You guys, thank you so much for joining today's live stream and crocheting along with me. If you want to post a picture of this, um, you can tag us. Uh, that we are at club cro club dot crochet or just hashtag club crochet. Look at this squeaker is there. Um, and uh, oh my god, it's so cute. Oh my god, a little tail would be everything though. Like just one little tail right here, a red one. I have enough yarn for it too. No, Lewis, no. You've been going for three and a half hours. You need to take a break. Oh, but it's so cute. I do need to fix this a little bit though. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh, and it's got a squeaker in it and everything. Oh, I wish I had catnip. I wish I added catnip. Oh, it's so cute. Okay. Now to show you guys Tina's draft. <laughs> All right. Um, Discord. Let me wipe my phone off. It's got fingerprints all over it. Here we go. Look what I made. All right. Okay, so <laughs> Tom made these adorable um, uh, insomitable snowman, which are a another pattern that I'm working on or that I have. Oh, Naughty Flowers made this adorable bunny. Look at that. Wow, plaid. How did you even do that? Oh my God, that vest is insane. There's her giraffe. Look at that. That's so cute. Oh man, it's a little dark on the screen, but it's really, really cute. Some amazing gloves. Wow. Oh wow, that's cool. That's actually super cool. An Ewok. Anyhow, that's the Discord. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for joining. This cat is so freaking cute. Um, and it squeaks, which is even better. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next Sunday. Uh, same time, same place. Uh, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here. And we're going to be, oh, and, and you want to say hi to Phoebe. Okay, fine. I'll bring Phoebe out real quick. Um, uh, we'll be right here. We're going to do Pokemon. Uh, you, we're going to choose, you guys are going to help me choose which Pokemon to crochet and stuff like that. Let me go get Phoebe to say hi. Bye. Bye. Okay, here's Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. She was sleeping. I'm sorry. She's so cute, though. I wonder if I get her in the light box. No, I won't. I won't. She's so cute. She really likes belly rubs. Is she so cute? You're lambing. She keeps lambing. She's so cute. Come here. Me? Yeah. Phoebe's the star. I know. She is. She's so sweet. Hello. Hello. You're such a brave kitty. This is our family. <laughs> Mine is Jimbo meowing my out. Jimbo, he's so upset right now because I, I just got home and he wants my attention. Yeah, he's he been meowing for. Attention. He's been meowing for a while now. Oh, oh, poor Jimbo. I know. This is Phoebe. She's so cute, and she really likes belly rubs, which is she the cutest does. thing ever. She's so calm. You're so calm. Because she's so sleepy. She's like, what the heck, man? And she trusts me. Okay, show them the hat. Oh, yeah. So Jules crocheted, or Jules knit, mm -hmm. this hat from... Uh, Arceus? The Pokemon Arceus the new, game? Yeah, the new Pokemon game. We'll definitely show it off next week as well. <laughs> it looks hilarious. Let me let me pull up a picture of him so this people This is have um, Professor Laventon's hat. Hi, everybody. Now I see the chat. Hi. Phoebe is the cutest. Uh, yeah, keep up the amazing content, man, they say to you. Uh, <laughs> 
So if you've played the Arceus game, you'll recognize this hat. It's worn by Professor Laventon. That's what he looks That's like. That's what he looks like. That's a cartoon, which is inaccurate. It has white on the edge, but in the game it does not. Yeah. Anyway, actually, it, in the game it's more like a turtleneck hat yeah. combo. Yeah. But that's not very attractive, so I did this instead. Yeah, she knit this hat, and it, it, the pattern's free. Uh huh. And I did a beanie version too, so you don't have to do the ear flaps. Yeah, go check her out. Knit by Jules. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. And guys, thank you again so much for joining. Uh, you know the dealio. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you to everybody that's donated or become a Club Crochet member through the live stream. I'll be back next week for a, with a new uh, thing. We're gonna be making Pokemon. And um, what else? Oh, and there's going to be a new pattern uh, by next week as well. Yeah. Oh my God, this it is so cute, guys. This is so, 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 so cute. So cute. Hold on. Wait. Cheryl said that she just posted her. Oh, <laughs> here's Cheryl's octopus. It, you can't really see it. It's so dark just because my screen is dark. But Cheryl made a little octopus. It's very cute. Okay, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. Stop it. You hang up. Oh my God, Elena. You're so bad. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. Hi, Phoebe. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, Phoebe. You're so cute. Oh my gosh, you hang up first, Kelly. Uh, oh, by the way, Kelly and everybody else who won, I'll send you an email about uh, how you get your free money from Club Crochet uh, ASAP. I'm pretty tired right now, so I'm going to go take a rest, and then I'll email you guys. Okay, bye.